Very nice. Welcome. Look at that, right on time. Right on time. Hello, Manda, Robert, Patrick. <laughs> Sorry. No, John, it probably happens because I have to shut off. That must be a really tasty beverage. <laughs> my, uh, webcam. Yeah. What's that? I said it it's might good. happen because I have to shut off my webcam in order so to get it to work. <laughs> Okay. And then it picks up my webcam <laughs> microphone. Well, we should probably do a test on that <laughs> offline, see if we can figure it out. Mm, show Refreshing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny, I have two yellow drinks. Um, the theme today. Okay. Uh, I have coffee mm -hmm. and water, as per usual. Rory and I also <laughs> have yellow drinks. Nutrition. Yellow, yellow drinks. Gatorade? What kind of yellow Mountain drink? Mountain Dew. Some call it lemonade. Lemon. Oh, right. Ooh, I love lemonade. Does anyone else remember? I, I, I'm sorry. I watched the Elvis movie uh, recently. Does uh, I'm, I'm probably this is I'm dating myself, but anyone remember when Eddie Murphy did the Elvis impersonation? And he said Elvis could do anything cool, like anything Elvis said. And it was uh, I think it was Eddie Murphy Raw, uh, one of his original uh, HBO specials. And he said, lemonade, that cool, refreshing drink. Uh, it was like in an Elvis voice, and it was like incredible. Yeah. Amazing. Sorry. Yeah, it was, it was like amazing. I was like so, way better than I just I did, but I yeah. I will have to ask what year was it from Fairly It would have been the 80s. It was been the 80s. Yeah, that was definitely way Wait, worse. Wait, if you wanted to know, it was the 80s. It was 83, 84, somewhere like yeah, that. Yeah. Born yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, the 80s were not that long ago. Uh, I, yes, Eddie doing Elvis was the best. Um, I believe he had, yeah, Raw, exactly. Phantom. We're going to win this race. Yeah, he did all that. I mean, I'd, and he had the, the red leather pants. I'm going to have to pee. Now, now, we should go run now. Go no, pee. Pete, I'm going to have to pee again later. Run, Peanut! Oh, Peanut. damn! You hit me right before I did. With when we're in this, you know it. Wow! All right, so I'm glad somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. Do right. you remember the time? And we're all like, no. <laughs> oh no 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 no! That was DM. That was that was. Mm, I'm Mr. T. Uh, I can't even say anymore. It was very very vulgar. I won't say it, but it was yeah. <laughs> Now we need to know. I love Mr. T. No, you, you know, you can't have anymore. All right, so yes, you stop. Thank you. All right, so let's go to our battle cam and uh, let's look at our amazing Anna B. Meyer map. We'll talk about some sponsors and then we'll be kicking off here very shortly. Greyhawk Awakening. I'm here for this one. We're glad you're here. Never do Please never do that again, please. He loves them. Who's here? Especially if you like sip in the Ew. Oh yeah, that full The uh, pretty much sprite commercial. Yeah. It was one of the best stand-ups ever, DM Dave. It really was. We're all having different conversations. I know we are. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the best one. I like it. Oh yeah, I tuned into yours for sure. Like, <laughs> what did you say? Lemonade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that cool, refreshing drink. Uh, I'll, I'll find a clean clip of that and play it here. Uh, maybe on uh, lore map. An LMA for lemonade. I should do that. Yes, that's a good idea. Blue Hello, should, Tracy. should sell a, uh, a lemonade, and it should be like lemonade, like lemon blueberry or something like that. I like it. Boss. I like it. Josh, you look way I too serious, it. dude. I'm about to kick you off the stream. You got to oh, relax. Sorry. I just got off a board meeting for my work, so I'm, I'm oh. still business mind. Dude, I didn't know they had board oh. meetings at Whataburger. Um, really? Dude, it, they're crazy. <laughs> I actually work at board Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Be better than laxative Josh burgers. has a job? When did this happen? Yeah, well. Sugar baby. Other Surprise. than being cute. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Really Makes sense. Job. I understand now. <laughs> Rebecca, I wish. 
gotta love this enemy Meyer map. We're gonna play some D and D tonight. How are you rebacking? Shut up, Only Josh. If you want to get like a straight up let, throat punch. Let, 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 Rebecca. <laughs> oh, that was terrible, Josh. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Kick him out. Next get him out. Of here. Yeah, that, that, was, that was awful. I mean, what was that? <laughs> yeah, Rory. Yeah. <laughs> Rory, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. No. As well, he should be. My bad. Oh. I got Put him outside. Shh. The couch is not good. No, no. I got a comfy bed. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm actually just reading through the Manda notes. Hey, Jeff. It's okay, oh my God, there's notes. Tis a flesh wound, yeah, Pat. That's right. Incredible session recap. I know, I saw recaps. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll do the session recap. I've already you, you I would know also... it? You're good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she actually lobbied for it, Josh. I looked at Where? it before. I actually did my homework before. I took it more as a vote of confidence. Because <laughs> I've been busy. I know what you've been doing. Shows. I'm so proud of you. Baby. I'm so All busy. right, I committed to have the combat going by 510, so... You let's prepared. do this. You know, once yeah, in a while, let's kill some once guys. In a while, wait, wait, I gotta go right here and then here so I get the Listen. appropriate. Boom. Mm. Um, so, uh, are we cutting to me? Are you sense? so sexy? Welcome, welcome to Delighted. Blue Box Greyhawk Awakening Book <laughs> Two. Um, we are in episode 33 of 88, I believe, if that's correct. Yep. And this is titled Glimpse Behind the Veil. I am joined, as always, by my amazing Am players. Uh, and yeah, wait, oh, I, oh, God, it would, so one of you moved, that's, there we go, now it's fixed, um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna jump right into this, so let's quickly go through what happened last time, we'll do sponsors at the break, and I'd like to talk about the player intros very quickly, let's start with what happened last time, Vivi. Okay, look, she did her homework today and she's prepared. So if any time to buy a lottery ticket, do it now because we actually know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, true, true. Amazing. Okay, previously on Greyhawk Awakening, Rowan's unconscious body lays on the other side of a blood-filled pit, an arrow of wolf being stuck in the back of her cap. The group come to a decision of whether they should trust Velfino after hiding the truth about Rowan. And the decision is to trust her for now. Uh, Rasmus offers to check the other routes um, with Rasputin to see if there's another way across, um, while Val, Anaho, and Rizia try to figure out the safest way across amongst the flinging blood and flesh and blood uh, bits of flesh that continue to fly around the room. Rasmus calls upon Rasputin um, in a way he never has before, uh, meeting him as an equal this time, and their bond grows. Still unsure of his fate with Rasputin, um, as the dark shadows and tentacles appear to take over more of his body, after searching, they find a trapped chest that emits a gas that burns every orifice of his face. Um, while the smoke clears, he returns. When the smoke clears, he returns to the chest, finding a mysterious silver chain necklace, which Rasmus pockets. Rizia grabs um, the once animated 90-foot chain, dragging it from down the hall and bringing it to the room in hopes of jamming it in the whirling uh, blood golem thingamajigger do hacky do. Um, the chain <laughs> is stabilized in the ground. Um, where Rizia punched and calls everyone um, calls everyone to hurry across. After a few near misses, everyone makes it safely across. Rizia covers Rowan's partially exposed body with her furs, while Velfino admits that he knew he he knew, um, but he ne has never seen Rowan change before his eyes. Rasmus calls Val over before pulling the arrow coated in wolfsbane out of her leg, um, so the first face that she would see would be a familiar one. Um, the group makes their way down the hall. Rowan's still unconscious. They make their way to a door, which has a ca handle covered in a black substance. They are able to open the door. Two figures dressed in full plate stand at the opposite end of the room. Do not move as the group advances slowly towards... Wow, uh, killing before this. ...or speaking, um, before one of them speaks, demanding a password. As this group scrambles to find out the word, a battle breaks out. Um, last we heard is Rasmus... Uh, there's a blade that slices through the metal and flesh, um, like as blood sprays from out of a wound. And that is the session recap. If you want to go and um, read the full recap, you can do that on our uh, Discord. Amanda has done an absolutely amazing job breaking down every single thing. Um, you can read that um, if you don't have time to uh, watch the streams back. You can go over there and find that out. She did a beautiful, wonderful job. So always props to Amanda for that. 
Always. And wow, Vivi, props to you. That was yeah. fantastic. And you have just won the... It's like the kid who does the, the dishes the best in the, in the family <laughs> winds up doing them every week. You yeah. are... Josh, I'm sorry. You've been pipped, bro. No, You're done. You're done. Do dishes, uh, <laughs> yeah, you killed that. So good. All right, quickly. Uh, player intros. Quick, quick, quick to get it. And we're getting right into the game. Player intros. Let's start with you, Valfino. So Val is this kind of lanky, swanky, awkward guy. Um, super protective of his friends, super loyal. Will do anything he can for the people he cares about, um, including turning on those who he's not so sure about. Um, he is kind of sneaky um, and really good at getting what he wants. So that's Val for you. Love it. Rory, tell us about Anaho. Yeah, so Anaho has been through this whole ordeal side by side with Rizia, uh, encountering new people, uh, and have made some acquaintance with Rasmus over the last few days, few weeks, uh, as they kind of have a similar background goal kind of thing in mind, uh, and kind of wondering how this is going to go down with now a blade in Rasmus's arm. So. Uh, I like it. I like it. How we're gonna survive? Uh, well, that should always be the case. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate that. Uh, let's go to. Um, she's in an awkward spot. Rowan um, played the entire last session completely unconscious. Uh, but tell us about Rowan. That good. I play it unconscious. That wolf's bane oh. is like it's tough. That's unconscious competence. Yeah, but she didn't kill anyone, and no one's like she's not dead. So I feel like it's a win-win yeah. situation. <laughs> All things. Rasmus, you're supposed to be dead. Um, <laughs> Rowan is six foot tall, blonde, hot, um, Irish, loves a good drink, and a werewolf apparently, um, and unconscious. Uh, werewolf apparently, uh, as though. By the artwork, on, well, I love it when that comes together so good with timing. The artwork that you had given us did not perhaps indicate that might be the case, right? Uh, we should have been totally shocked no, by definitely that. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Were you guys not surprised? <laughs> All right. So since Vivi's eating, which is a staple on the show, let's go to Josh. Josh, <laughs> tell us um, about uh, the about amazing about Rasmus uh, in his final hour. Uh. Well, Rasmus is a level five inquisitor. He's got a buddy named Rasputin, which he is referenced as his guardian and like closest friend. And it shows itself as a shadowy, almost mummy-like being, like not really mummy mummy, but like patches in places, but long claws, just humanoid body, almost genie-esque as its tail kind of connects to uh, Rasmus. I dream of Genie. It's kind of semi connected. Uh, yeah, that's about it. He's got a sword in his shoulder, about to cleave his arm off. So that's. Oh, don't worry. The, the sword is no longer in his shoulder. No, it, you're fine. Uh, it's out of his shoulder yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, in fact, yeah. the shoulder's completely removed. Yeah, it, it, it's it's out of the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, it it, it it was there briefly, but it's it's no longer there. You're only mostly dead, Josh. <laughs> yeah, <only laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, now I believe she's done eating. Tell us about Rizia. I'm not done eating, but I will. <laughs> not too hurt. No, and I told her she's always got to eat. The like she was so much better last week after she ate. So I'm telling her to eat at the beginning of each stream now. I get hangry, okay? I know you do. I can tell. <laughs> um, um, Rizia is a level six uh, half orc barbarian. Um, she's currently now the leader of the group. Um, hence why she's now, me, is now reading notes and trying to uh, <laughs> take on that leadership role as much as I really didn't want to, but you know, them's the works and here I am. So um, I think that's why I think reading the session notes and then being the, what happened last time, I think would help me and my brain. So um, yes, so she's currently, in the midst of battle, um, and her strength is, she definitely feels her strength waning. So we'll find out what happens. All right. Well done. And by the way, reading is fundamental. Well done. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. I, I'm, I'm no. just throwing out all these old school references tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's, it, it just comes up. Uh, all right. So let me kill this audio. No, no, that one. Not that one. 
Yeah, just get it over with. Yeah, let me <laughs> just, just, get it, just get it over with. <laughs> so we can uh, all right. Take him out back and just... I promised 10. <laughs> I'm four minutes late. Uh, but here we go. An Italian bard. Mm, yeah. And no both both the PC and the player game. die. Um, all right, so we are on episode 3388. <sighs> I'm going to read the critical hit. Do I have to tell you now or after that I want to use the uh, minor <clears throat> fate? I'm going to I'm going to allow you to read it after so people can understand what has happened here. Okay, uh, cool, cool, but cool, cool. yes. All right. As the necrotic monstrosity plaid all in plate armor, huge weapon as that's not going to work there. I got to move that or I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Um as it slashed down that gorgeous sword. Now, the one attacking you is not glowing. The one on the other side is glowing blue, uh, but the one on your side is plenty keen. As it slashes down, I'm going to show on the screen here, this is where we have Rasmus. This is the creature facing him. Uh, they both sit atop thrones. This is the other creature facing Rizia. Back here, we have an Aho and uh, we have Rowan laying on the ground, her body incapacitated. Useless. And here, we have Valfino. Yeah. The crit. Reading it verbatim, and then I'll describe it. Your opponent's arm, this was, so, Everyone, last time I rolled a nat 20, of course, yep. that's always the, the print. And then I rolled an 18, modified 18. I don't know his armor class. I don't track that stuff specifically, so I'm not inclined to fudge. And then I rolled an 88 on the crit. <laughs> that puts to a level 13 cutting crit on my gorgeous crit tables here. And it says your I opponent's guess. arm is. Yeah, I was like, didn't I guess like 87 last? I think night? you. Oh, you guess you were so we're close. Yes, it was an 88. Um, your opponent's arm is severed cleanly at the shoulder, <gasps> resulting in gouts of blood pouring from the ruined stump, causing his death within five turns. So that would be 50 seconds, um, unless there is magical healing that can be uh, obtained. Eldritch, or other, it's got to be massively powerful. Your opponent falls immediately unconscious in a twitching lump. Uh, so that is the crit that you got hit with. So I'm going to describe this now, and um, I want you to listen very carefully, Josh, because I'm about to send you a Discord message. Okay, and which arm was it that's getting severed? It, it was your sword arm because you were oh, you, free. You're right. No, because no, that no, no. Yeah, so you you had yeah. reached out, you struck that makes you sense. you struck yeah. the creature, that's it came sense. down yeah. on that sword arm right there on that right arm, and right through the shoulder, the spray of blood sprouts out, and then we're going to focus on Josh for a moment. Everything. Not, not Rasmus, just Josh. just Josh. Everything goes quiet. I'm sending you a message. I'm gonna read part of it. John, I'm gonna on, I'm gonna man. read part of it. Uh, but uh, you will know where I've stopped because some of it is only for you. Oh shoot! You feel as this incredible force, this cold steel, slices through your arm. Um, suddenly, you're separated from that limb. Oh, searing pain floods every fiber of your being. White hot fire shoots through your shoulder, but then it's alloyed with this instantly almost bone chilling, humanly inimaginable chill that grows through your entire torso. It seems for a moment you're intertwined in consciousness with Rasputin. It hits so softly, so suddenly, and then you hear his voice. Master, there is little time. And he reaches out as though proffering aid. 
you have two choices here, and I do not dictate these. These are yours, yours to make. You do have a fate chip, which I completely forgot about, which is why I like not tracking these things because it makes it more fun to me that I don't know. You have a minor fate chip that can be used to obviate this, but it is connected to this situation and price. See, I was kind of down for prior to the rest shooting thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do what you want to do, bro. <laughs> He's dead one way or the other. Yeah, I. Uh, there is uh, time. Yeah. You must make a choice. Yeah, we will really reach out. Inexorably intertwined. We will never be the same. We will be inexorably intertwined. Oh, <laughs> As you consent, you feel this intertwined consciousness, your head, you all see this, Rasmus' head as his arm is sliced off, his head snaps back, his mouth in a rictus grin and smile, his eyes roll back in his head, and in the blink of an eye, you have a vision. Only you see this vision. You read it. And we now return to the combat as <laughs> Rasmus falls to the ground, spouting blood. But you all see this shadowy, necrotic, inky substance growing out from his shoulder. And now we return to combat. All right. I'm mute my audio because I'm about to. <laughs> Yeah, read it all, read it all, bro. All right, uh, we're gonna go to initiative. And who rolled last time? All right, we're gonna assign it to Valfino. Valfino, the DM, no, Rasmus cannot roll, sorry. Uh, DM has a three on the die. Am I rolling a d20? No, you're rolling a d6. A d6. <laughs> so again, uh, here's, here's Valfino, here's Rowan. Uh, laying on the ground. Here is Anaho. Here is Rizia. Here is the fallen Rasmus with an ebony arm sprouting from his shoulder. And again, his face <laughs> twisted back, his neck turned oddly, his mouth in a rictus grin. And then these two creatures. Um, let me show you these again because you what probably forget. What does for mean? Well, Google it, bro. Um, I'm in the middle of <laughs> It means like like Listen, twisted game while you have a meltdown, you twisted <laughs> melted in a like a death like <laughs> like like death like <laughs> like, like <laughs> grin. Okay, terrifying. Cool. Ah, cool. Who's that? And uh, the 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 one that is just severed through him uh, lets out a slightly cackling laugh. <laughs> So confident and yet so dead. Right, brother? We knew it would be so. I told you they did not have the words. All right. Yeah. Oh what was gosh. your role, <laughs> Valfino? Oh <my> <laughs> I was going to say, John, I can't handle you DMing like that the whole entire time. I won't. I won't. <laughs> All right. What was the role, Valfino? It was a nat one. And they have initiative. Whoops. Wrong one. Fun. And uh, this one leaps over the clearly dead body of Rasmus um, and lands right in front of Anaho. Anaho, you see this massive blade come overhead and swing down. I don't think I'm little guy, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's not a good roll. Uh, so that's four plus... Does a 15 hit? Does not. Ah, uh, you narrowly dodge. The blade strikes the cobble. Sparks fly out. The benches of the penitents are overcast and fall to the ground as Anaho, I'll give you the choice. You can jump to the right or the left of his blade. Swing, bada bada swing. Towards Rizier. 
like on that side. Of Rizzi is on the left, yes. Yep, so left side. Rasmus has fallen to the right, okay. You leap over a fallen bench, and you are on the side of Rizia now. Uh, and we're going to go to Rowan. Rowan. Yeah? <laughs> you. Yeah? <sighs> you. <sighs> You come conscious. There's a searing pain in your in your thigh, really your hamstring, the back. Where you, you were struck by something. The, the burning, the pain is enormous. Uh, but as you look down, you know it's happened. This has happened to you before. And yet, there is a cacophony around you. The sounds of combat. Uh, you're disoriented. What do you do? Oh, dear. Whatever's out there. Um, kind of like, I guess, kind of like going in and out of this consciousness. And Your camera's frozen. I don't know if there's something you can do with it. There we go. That's better. You're back. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> uh, you know, the, because we've been having storms like crazy, so I apologize if my camera's a little not great today. Um, but, you know, as she's kind of like going in and out, like these like black spots going everywhere, she sees blurbs of like people. Um, that she more or less recognizes, and she kind of looks down at her feet and the tattered boots. Uh, she's almost naked at this point, yeah. other than bits of armor still clinging to her. Um, and uh, she looks down at her belt that just barely sticks together at this point. And she reaches down for the hilt of her sword as she looks back up. And as the vision comes into view, what is the first thing that she can see in front of her as she starts to kind of like push herself up to her feet, using the sword kind of like to hold herself up? All right. As you prop up your near naked form, uh, go ahead and roll perception, please. All right, cool. Come on, daddy needs a new pair of Crocs. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. anachronism, strike one. <laughs> well, I mean, it was the so it's fine. Thank you, Mad Chatters. I'm sorry I've not been talking to you guys. I'm having so much fun right now. I'm just enjoying this. Um, it's a fun story. I hope you're entertained. Wait, let me look at my perception again. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh -huh. It's an 11. <laughs> my perception's amazing. <laughs> okay, so it's a plus 11 or a total of 11? No, my perception's a plus 8. All right, so, <laughs> John's bloodlust is in full effect. Run. <laughs> All right, so you roll a three. Play. All right, so as you look up, the first, first thing you note, um, there is still this feral hunger inside of you, and you see Valfino, and his pantalons are nicely contoured, and you are mesmerized momentarily. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Valfino, you have no idea this is going on behind you. I'm, I'm role-playing here intentionally. Uh, the, the feral effect of the wolf, um, that is, uh, and, and so you don't know what's going on behind. You do hear a gurgling, but you see Rasmus fall. You see Anaho barely escape a blade that spark strikes off the floor. What do you do, Valfino? Bell has his crossbow out. <laughs> That's going in the here. notes. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, is just trying to take in like what's going on. Like he's slightly overwhelmed. He's seeing, you know, um, Rizia's kind of a little tattered. He sees Rasmus on the ground and Anaho jumping back and uh, Rowan just like, you know, barely holding herself up. So he's just trying to take. No, you don't even you don't even see Rowan. You have no idea. She's behind you, oh. so you don't know what's happening with Rowan. Oh, yeah, you're. You, okay. I'm sorry. You're, you're in front of yeah, Rowan. Okay. Yeah, you're you're only seeing what's going on. They're, they're, it's 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 pretty quiet behind you, so you only see what's in front. Okay. So then, with that, how far am I away from the guy, from the guys? I'm, I apologize. A little... No, 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 no. It's fine. Um, because you're so. <clears throat> The one that just swung at Anaho is probably six or seven feet in front of you. Uh, he, he's this guy here with the plate armor. Um, Rasmus would be about 10 feet, uh, and Rizia would be about 12 feet. Anaho right next to Rizia. 
So all of them are within a range of movement, but if you try to move past this one in front, he's going to get an attack on you. Can I get to Rizia without causing an attack? No, no way. So this guy here, he is, he is, he leapt forward. Now he is right where Anaho vacated. He's standing right in front of you. Love it. Okay. Um, well, I liked Valfino, so I hope he lives, but um, <laughs> he's gonna try and like, get over he can't even get over Rasmus like there's there's nothing well Rasmus is a better angle for him than Rizia so Rizia you already have a Naho you're slightly it, it's I know it's hard to see here I think our fans can probably see it it's slightly biased to the left you have a little bit more you're probably still provoke an attack of opportunity but you definitely have the angle to get to Rasmus all right uh Val's gonna try and head over to Rasmus um keeping his bow like dropped into his side and while he goes by keeping it pointed at this guy like this yeah i'm sorry keeping the the guide what'd you say no he's gonna keep his um bow tucked in at his side okay like his crossbow and just keeping it pointed at the big monster dude i'm not quite sure what he is but Pointed at him. No, none of you are quite sure what these creatures are. Um, all right, as you slip past, um, you hear the voice. Uh, not so quickly. I'll lay you down with your comrade. And he swings. Ooh, okay. That's that's I'm I'm doing worse tonight, which is good. Um, so that's a, by the way, I have I have no pluses. Uh, DM surrendered all of those last time. I don't think anybody has any pluses. Um, but that's a 15 uh, total. Does that hit? So John, being a new player and your armor class. What is your armor class? Where do I find that? I apologize. No, it's okay. And. I won't necessarily. No armor class? Yeah, armor 13. class. A 13. That is a hit. As you run past, uh, you feel a blade slice into your side, and you take. Ouch. Oh. Ow. All right, you take 15 points of damage. It rakes across your ribs, down through your hip. As the blood spurts out, you also take a permanent, or not permanent, a temporary point of strength damage, which Rizia also had last time. Every time these blades hit, they're doing a point of temporary strength uh, impact. And now, you reach Rasmus. What do you do? Um, so I'm gonna cl be clutching my side, kind of put down the dagger and clutch my side and kneel down next to Rasmus and just like, try to gauge if he's still alive or... You see his body shakes violently. Um, and even as I've described this several times, but his face is twisted in this death-like mask, his eyes rolling back in his head. He, he's actually slamming his head against the stone um, as he shakes from whatever he's seeing. But you see the blood is staunched and there is this ebony growing into a false arm, tendrils, like like ten like 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 tendons, sinew, muscular flesh, growing out, forming an arm where his arm was severed. Would uh, would Val be able to kind of grab Rasmus by like the back of his shirt or something, and kind of try and drag him out of like the center of the room, like? back towards that wall a little bit. Uh, so there's a, a little enclave here. Do you want to drag him back into this enclave or back to where you came from? So here, if, if you uh, look... Back there... to the enclave. Okay. Probably out of reach of this big monster dude and just kind of getting him out of, you know... All right. Reach you pull him back behind this stone enclave. And as you do, again, you see it's almost like vines that grow. The fingers begin to form. Slowly, his body stops being so stiff, and you hear him just gasping deeply, and you have pulled him out of harm's way. That is your round. Rizia, we go to you. You stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This creature has just struck you. It's going to hit him, or try to, at least. Roll to hit. 
You've already, you hit once, you've missed twice or thrice, I believe. You know what, John? It's not about the shots that you miss, okay? <laughs> let's, let's quit with your negativity over here. <laughs> okay, um, yep, that's not a hit. Oh wait, hang on one second. Before so I if you would have, speak. you would have probably noted this from about 18 total. No, you, you could have triangulated from the last game. Their armor class is 21. So just so you know. Okay, so um, I'm going to use. And I don't normally uh, tell that, but you guys could have figured that out from okay. the rolls. Yeah, for sure. Um, and sorry, you said five, so I can roll for advantage, correct? I can cash in five for roll for advantage. Uh. Yes, five for your second attack can be used for advantage. Ten can be used for an extra attack. Okay, no. So I will do. I will use my five to roll for advantage. Okay. And maybe not roll this crappy dice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate the dice. Oh, why you keep rolling it again? You're you're going in the garbage. Eh? Hang on. Uh, <laughs> my first one, the second one. Oh, you know, I rolled a seven plus. Five, so nothing. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, you're too you swing, and uh, the creature, um, its skeletal face looking mocking as you swing your blade, and it simply cackles at you. <laughs> weak, weak, so soft. Your flesh will be quite tasty, I think. All right. Uh, Anaho has moved. Valfino has done. I, I haven't gone yet. Oh, you no, you leapt out of the way of the attack. Yeah, that's right. So what are you doing? Run. <laughs> you are here right beside uh, this creature. And actually, I'll, I'll give you... No, it's simultaneous. I can't tell you. Uh, you don't know what it's going to do. You, you felt the blade slam the ground. You saw the sparks fly off. What do you do? Well, because it's all simultaneous and because he just swung and I'm kind of in this role, I'm hoping that uh, it's, I'm quick enough to just avoid it being hit. But I want to continue my dodge in between. You got to remind me on this, John. If I go in between Rizia and the other creature, do I provoke an opportunity attack? All right, so I want to be clear. So you've already moved past the one that swung at you. You're trying to go between Rizia and just take the two second delay and watch. Are you saying you're trying to leap up on this the platform where the two thrones are and jump between Rizia and the one that she's in combat with? Is that what you're saying? Oh, that would absolutely provoke an attack of opportunity. No question. Now you could run on the other side. He pits it off. You could run on the other side. That would definitely. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just making sure you're so if I hey, did Keith. go in between them, but went to the side, like flanked that same uh, skeleton. Yeah, like where I'm showing now. No, you would not provoke an attack of opportunity. And in fact, depending on whether you're trying to move uh, in shadows and silently, you might be able to get on the opposite side without even being seen. I'm wanting to be like right next to the guy. All right, but... All right, help but me, Roy. Right next to him, like behind him. Like, where are you trying to go? Uh, so, I mean, even just to one side. Uh, if if it's within ten feet, I guess it depends on that. Too. Is it within ten feet that it? All of this is within ten feet. Yes. Okay, to the right. To the right. All right. So then, instead of trying to squeeze between them or sneak around, you're just going to move to the side here. Yeah. That's where you want to go. Right there. All right. You leap there and you do jump into range to provoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that roll. Oh, that's a little better roll for the DM. So that's a 10 plus 10, that's a 20 that hits, doesn't it? All right. Um, as the creature laughs and knocks away Rizia's blade, its weapon swings forward, slams into Anaho. Anaho, you take... Two damage. 13 points of damage right. and one point of strength damage as well. Make sure you're tracking those strength because that does affect uh, your to hit rolls and your damage rolls. 
you feel the cold blade. This, this blade, as I said, it glows blue. It slashes through your shoulder, um, you know, coming down on you because you're so short, but you are now there. You can attack. I will, because we took that long rest, uh, I will go ahead and reach my left hand out, uh, getting as close to or within the armor uh, of the skeleton with my ring of ram. Okay. And as I thrust my hand forward at the skeleton, I just look over to Rizia. You don't get to die that quick. Remember, it's all a choice. Uh, and I'll use the full charge. And that's three, right? Yep. And you're tracking? Yeah. No, you're, he's attacking. No, right. you're. <laughs> you have how many left? <laughs> oh, we took. I have all three left. We took the rest. So it's no, 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 no. There's a right. limited supply. It's not per day. There's a limited number. I have it written down. I can find it if you don't have oh, it. I thought it was like I thought it recharged. No. No. Well, that changes, that changes. Yeah. No, it, it, it does not recharge daily. It is a limited number of total charge. Now, that doesn't mean you can't take it to an arcane magic shop and have it recharge, but it does not recharge because you rest. It has a limited number of charges. Oh. I thought it recharged. Dang. No. Hold that thought, sir. Do you know? Do you know? Sorry, this is not 5e, guys. What, what is it? That's <laughs> what you said. Um... No, I didn't all say that. Manda can tell us. Manda, did I say it recharged daily? I'm yes. confident I did not. Manda! <laughs> Manda is the arbiter of all truth. You said it recharges every midnight. <laughs> I did not. Mm -hmm. I, you said it recharges at will. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> will. Okay, okay. Sure On your whim. On your whim. <laughs> no, Toriano, you do not count. I did not. Thank you, Pat. I cannot trust Toriano. All right. No, this has a limited number of charges. Now, there are ways to recharge it, but it is not simply by resting. Uh, you've got one left. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, 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 dog, dog, no, dog, no. I used it all see, in the See, brainstorm. John said dog, yeah, dog, No, yeah. no, I've got a little dog here dog. ripping on my microphone. So he's saying that <laughs> you've got that one charge left that you can totally use. Oh, I think he has. No, I used all three in the rainstorm. Wait, but you had more than three. Or, no, there was three, and, and, and no. or I did, and I used it all in the well against that monster, so I mean. Unless there's more than six. I thought it was There five. were. I thought I gave you, Manda, again, perhaps you can help. I thought I could be completely wrong. I didn't want to bog down the combat. I That's think, okay. I, I right. thought I had said something like 17 charges. Um, I thought it was 25 charges. Uh, no, okay, Josh, you are not helping, bro. Mute. Damn mute, damn mute. Kick him out of here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say you have that three if you want. We'll reconcile how many are left, but you can do that. But it does not. It is, yeah, it is limited. Okay. It was 17. Thank you, Tracy. Three. Maybe I said seven. I don't think I said seven. I think I said 17. No, not 52,000. You guys are not. No, not 70. You guys are not helping here. We're trying to play a game. Most logical and correct. Okay, I'm just going off the top. I believe I said 17. You used three uh, in the well. It was 17. So then you were 14. You can use three more. You'll be down to 11. And I used them against the uh, bugbear or whatever that was in the rainstorm. So I'm actually, I've used nine now total. Okay. Uh, so yes, I will use all three, and it's a D6 per charge, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, and I have to—I don't have to roll the hit with this, right? Mm -mm. I have to make a saving throw, but. I mean, it's better. Can you save? I don't know if you save. Oh my gosh! You like to see it. By the way, where is everyone tonight? We have 37 viewers? That can't be right. We're having way too much fun tonight. Oh, it's 42. 42. Still, yeah, it's low. Where is everyone? The universe. No, and you know, we got to talk about our subs, too. Our subs are way down. Um, we we're going to we're gonna have to start subs. killing all these players if you guys don't start subbing more. Uh, I'm Thank teasing. You. I'm teasing. I'm uh, sure that, that, that happens anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, uh, by the way, I heard... It's interesting right now. You yeah. Can <laughs> 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 do something. I, I heard... I heard rumor that there is actually a pretty popular... Um, D and D stream. Um, I forget the name. Something uh, roll uh, that actually had some player deaths in their last session. Shocking. Um, I didn't want to know that because that's a 
spoiler that No, I it's been days, bro. Chill. I'm literally watching <laughs> you. You call yourself a fan. Yeah, you really? Fan. I'm, that is like the least spoiler of all spoilers. I have not seen it whatsoever. I'm an hour 13 minutes in, man. Uh, wow. Which shows you don't Gosh. care that much. All right. Um, all right. So. No one died, actually. Did you know that? <laughs> you can believe it. Um... As you extend the ring, my saving throw, it's good to have these both ways, not one. You see uh, this skeletal creature is slammed back against the wall. Hammers in the wall. I'm going to roll again to see if it's actually a fumble or just a bad fail. Okay, no, no, not, a, not a fumble. Slams against the wall and... Um, out of Rizia's way, and in fact, Rizia, I'm going to say, as it slides out of the way, you get an attack of opportunity on that, at, uh, because it is Everybody. it is absolutely off balance. Thank you so much. Oh, we yeah. appreciate that, Brengal. 13 points of damage. John. 13, all right. 13. And that avoids the damage resistance, which is helpful. Ooh, that out. Too many of these things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Red Rub. As Rizia raises her great axe to attack um, the armored figure before he gets pulled away, um, she raises her axe up and she feels a little bit of her strength weakening, and she kind of slips the great axe slips in her hand a little bit. Yes. Uh, well, what was your roll? Because he has no dex bonus here, so his armor class is lower. He's knocked off balance. 16. <sighs> Clang! Clashes off that plate mail armor. Cannot penetrate. Thank you so much, everyone. We got the Ra yeah, no. Raid Play Nerd Allies. Thank you so much for the raid, my friends. Uh, we'll talk about our giveaway in a moment. Uh, as the skeletal figure slams against the wall, uh, his necrotic voice once again rings out. I enjoy playing with you. I will feast upon your flesh. <laughs> um, as your uh, axe bounces off of him, and that concludes the round. We go to initiative. You lost last time, uh, so now we're going to go to you. Rowan, you've not done anything in two sessions. Hey, thank you, Pat Draws. Uh, because you were unconscious, and so DM, ooh, not good. DM has a two on the die. My dice? Uh, he almost died. Pat will explain. Well, because that's what they do. What did you get, John? I had a two. Did you, get, you got a loser roll? Is that what that was? It was kind of... I got a three. I that's one, one, two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I got the loser roll. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So you have <laughs> you have the win. Um, let's start with you, Rowan. Uh, after admiring Valfino, um, he springs away. What do you do? Uh, lost opportunity. Um, <laughs> um, uh... Am I getting, other than the fact that I am borderline bloodthirsty, uh, are there any other weird vibes in this room that I'm getting? <laughs> Anything overpowering? Um, no, and in fact, the resonance that you have felt before uh, with what is inside you is diminished. In fact, it almost feels like a flash, a burst, and then it winks out. Huh. Probably nothing. Um, oh, shit. I mean, heck. This thing in front of me, made of metal, right? Yeah. Metal guy. Well, it's not made of metal. It is full <laughs> plate armor clad, yes. Full metal alchemist. All right. Um, oh, God dang it. Okay. Fine. Um, God, I don't want to die. I just got <laughs> here. Uh, whatever. So I'm going to, um, Rowan's going to gather herself 
and um, again, as like her visions like coming to, her strength kind of comes to, and uh, her grip on her sword tightens as she takes one good look around the room. And I feel for the most part, she can see more or less like everybody other than I'm assuming Dalfino and Rasmus. Well, yes, but now as she does step forward, no perception check needed, you see blood sprayed everywhere and you actually see an arm, um, which would not be difficult to recognize. You see Rasmus' arm laying limp on the ground, um, holding, <laughs> holding his erstwhile blade in an open hand. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> Not the arm, <laughs> the blade. Well, you'd have to move past this. Are you, are you serious? Are you joking? Are you, are you gonna try to run past him and grab the blade or? Cause you're right in front of this guy. He's gonna get an attack of opportunity. Oh, on you. I didn't realize it was like right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Um, you know what? I'll take my chances. I'm gonna break his ankles. I'm gonna kind of like poof, him real quick. And try to dart past him. <laughs> All right. As you make that attempt to Definitely. dart past him. Um, I'd like to see him try. Again, you are essentially unarmored now. So your armor class, like all your, you're na almost naked. Uh, everything is like, all, all of that has been pressed off of you Casper. with your transformation. Oh, so I'm even faster is what you're saying. Yeah, I, you are faster. <laughs> yeah, I, that is what I'm saying. <laughs> bravo, bravo. You are faster. I'm more agile. You are more <laughs> agile, uh, but you are also squishier. Uh, all right, here we go. I got muscle. I'm also. Squishy. Thank you, Rova Jax, for joining the Mad Chatters. <laughs> Ooh, it. oh, that's a ten plus ten. That's gonna be a twenty. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Shit. Uh, all right, so I'm okay. So <laughs> I could take a hit. You take 13 points of damage as you run past. A, a blade rakes across your backside, uh, cuts down, uh, opens you up, bare flesh. You also take one point of strength reduction. Please mark that down. Oh, and, but you right. reach, you reach the severed arm. Nice. Um, I'm gonna pick up that sword. Is that a one-handed weapon, two-handed weapon? Three. Rasmus, it's a one-handed weapon, correct? It's a nice-looking longsword. Yeah. Uh, the arm, the arm. You still, you see, yeah. the fingers are still like twitching. Nah, we don't care about that. We care about the sword. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've seen, you've seen one twitching arm before. You've seen them all. <laughs> Nothing special there. Um, I'm going to pick up the sword. And I'm going to do... Uh, oh, shit. Can I make a perception? <laughs> can I, well, no. I can see everybody. Shit. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, gonna, where you're at now, you actually... Yes. Facing. Yes, you see everything. Okay, fine. Um, I'm going to look over at... Now that I can kind of see where Valfino's at, I'm going to shout to him. We need to get out of here! And she's going to ching, ching the swords together, and then she's going to charge at this uh, metal guy. The one behind her? Get all. The one that just struck her? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say... Go back in for a second one. So that was 10 feet... <laughs> pick up the blade. I'm going to say that's all fair. You can do that in one action. So you pick up the blade, you rush toward him, roll to attack. Okay. I'm going to use my nice dice. Wait, eeny, meeny, miny, yeah. Thank you, Robert. Don't fail me. Rowan, you got three plus ones. Okay. Oh, did I now? Mm-hmm. From yes. Phantom, From Robert. Phantom. I forget how many of those can I use? Just the one, right? No, you, you can, can use, use as many as you want. You can stack oh, them. Just... Five makes <laughs> advantage. <laughs> but you have to tell me before okay. you roll. Okay, well, I'm gonna, yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. You wanna use all three? Okay, cool. Heck all right. Yeah. All right. Use all three. Roll to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Okay. 
18, 19, 20, 20, 22 to hit. What did I tell you their armor class was? 21. That's a hit. Yay! Let's go! Thank you. <laughs> we got one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, Stop. We, we, we hit them like once, right? Enjoy it. Have we hit them Enjoy at all? Them. Yes. The musical. Uh, yeah, so Rizia had one hit last time, and then of course Anaho just slammed the other one against the wall, or the same one actually that Rizia hit against the wall, did damage. This one has not been hurt at all. Until now. Me. And what's the um, damage? You know, as she. Goes in for a hit. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Where's my thing? Okay, cool. Whew, I got lost there. Nine. <laughs> wait, oh. it's more than that. I know that. Has to be hold more. On. Plus what? <laughs> I know it is. And everyone, please bear with uh, bear with Hobbs' camera. She's having storms tonight, so her internet is struggling a bit. Um, yeah, but it'll storm, storm. it'll all be good by next week. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Try storm. Get your pals more. <laughs> 18. Whoa. I knew nine I had shit, shit in here somewhere. I, I was like nine. For nine. Boom! Um, <laughs> the blade slams in, slices. You feel it connect with bone. There's a crack as uh, the thigh bone severs and the creature staggers. <sighs> Still up, but definitely hurt. And now we go back to Rasmus and Valfino. <laughs> Valfino, yes. as you pull him back into this alcove, uh, you see his eyes again uh, turn back in his skull, but now this strange arm is fully complete and his breathing grows more steady. What do you do? Um, Val will kind of keep his head out, kind of like trying to see what's going on outside the alcove while still having his hands on Rasmus. You hear screams, and the sounds of combat, cacophony all around you. Alrighty, friend. I need you to come back to us now. We need your help, and I have questions for you. And he'll kind of, like, give a little shake. Like, alright, now's the time. We need you. Rasmus, your eyes snap open now for the first time in, in several moments, fully recognizing your surroundings and surprised to see the form of Valfino uh, over you. And you feel this icy chill across where your right arm would be. Uh, the phantom pain still exists there, but also in addition to what I told you uh, in the message, which you can choose to role play as you wish, mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of effects that you have here. Uh, this arm, so it was a fate chip that was used. Those of you that joined late, yeah. uh, he had a fate chip. Fate chip is part of our economy here on Blue Box. We do have very nasty crit tables. Um, they can apply in both directions, but only PCs can get the fate chips, minor or major, based on great role play or great attack uh, bonuses. Uh, he had a minor fate chip, and so he played it. Now his uh, erstwhile familiar Rasputin has somehow melded with his body where once his natural arm existed, now he has this shadow arm, uh, which is part of Rasputin's essence formed with him. Long-term implications of this are very difficult to ascertain, but there are two things that are immediately apparent. One, um, that arm, any blade you strike with is a plus one to strength. That includes both damage and to hit. <laughs> Two, um, its sensitivity is very limited, so you don't feel soft touch. Uh, you don't. You won't feel the caress of a breeze. Um, three, you lose one point of constitution permanently. There was both something of Rasputin and something of you that was given in this. So yeah. you have the point of strength to attack to that arm. You have a point of constitution permanently lost as part of this bonding with Rasputin. Uh, of course, none okay. of this is overtly known to uh, yeah. you, but everything that I told you in that vision was, and your eyes snap open uh, to see Valfino looking at you. To that arm, sorry. And minus 
<laughs> One, con. Great. No big Where deal. Um, honestly, like the power game you're in wants to do something this turn, but in all honesty, I it does not make sense. No, it doesn't. No, I agree. Yeah, play, play, play it right. Pops up. He looks up at like Valfino, eyes whirring, and like left hand striked up by like, grabbing at whatever like armor piece Valfino has with like a death grip and looks up with like fury and a focus but also wild eyes and then once he sees like the eyes dilate and see Valfino he like shoves him back and will look around at what's going on and will sweep the ground with his right hand but then it like he goes off balance for a second just trying to grab and he feels that right arm kind of give way underneath him and he's like a newborn giraffe like Mm -hmm. just trying to learn how this arm works and it's a sad sight at first and foremost and so he's just kind of scrambling right now looking around for where his weapon is he he has a shield with his left hand and he's just kind of getting his bearings this round Bravo, bravo, well done. And uh, by the way, Hob, your camera is fixed now. Great, that's awesome. Uh, Valfino, that is not your full round though. You see this happen, you still have a full round action. What do you want to do, Valfino? You stand here in this alcove, you see him scrabbling around, you know he's conscious. You can stay with him and offer him a sucker or you can move on. S-U-C-C-O-R, come (laughs) on guys, learn the language. Um, so, <laughs> the other two, um, are, it looks like a little ways away, and they're both in combat right now, right? Yeah, you like peek around the... With Rowan. Yeah, you, you peek... With, mm-hmm. You peek him. around the edge of the corner, and you can see Rowan, she's directly engaged with this skeletal figure, and it's just hammered him. Uh, you see Rizia is pressing against the other one, uh, who has been slammed against the wall, and... Uh, Anaho is stepping forward, holding out his hand. Uh, you've seen him use this ring before. Um, Val will probably stay with Rasmus just because he doesn't seem quite good on his own right now. Like, he looks confused. He looks... He does. Like, he's not sure what's going on. So, um... Val will try and take his crossbow and see if he can get um, distract or whatnot the one that uh, Rowan's fighting. Like seeing if he can get its attention so that way maybe she can get a better hit next time or something. Well, or you can actually attack this round with your crossbow if you want to. So you, you've not done too much action this round. If you want to fire, you can. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. All right, roll to hit. And a D20, right? Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much for the follows and the subs, everyone. Thank you, Robert. Our subs have been weak lately. We need to get them back. I think I've been bad as a DM, not asking the what are you doing question early enough in the game. Uh, All right, you peek around the corner, the ancient stones. Um, the torches glowing on the side wall, the sounds, the clatter, the sparks, the blood, the coppery scent of blood on the ground, uh, the strange writhing ebony darkness behind you uh, where Rasmus is pulling himself off the ground. You train the crossbow on this creature and go ahead and fire. So I rolled a 19 and I have a plus five for- That is a hit! Roll damage! That's another D20 or? Uh, No, 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 no. So that's a D8 on the crossbow. No strength bonus. So just a flat D8. I apologize. It's it's Uh, the the one one that's a diamond. (laughs) <laughs> the D, yeah. It has triangle it's like two pyramids. But it looks it, like a, hey, don't, nobody a laugh at her. At least she's not like Hob and said the, the square one uh, to a D6, right? So well, this is this the. Guy. This guy. <laughs> that's yeah. the one. That's Correct. your D8. Yes. 
Hey, and by the way, if you're watching tonight at Blue Box, we have a combination of old school gamers, people that have played for a long time, and also new gamers, and that's what our channel is all about. We love introducing new people to the game, and so uh, never throw shade at someone that doesn't know uh, a D8, although you can certainly throw shade at someone who asks what a D6 is, since that should have been in your Monopoly game. Everyone should know what a D6 is. This has been around in every game forever, right, Hob? A square. It's a square or a cube, as some people might call it. All right, uh, so what was the roll? A one. A one. All right, tsh, glancing blow. Tsh, you see a bit of skeletal uh, structure come off the cheek. Um, and, <laughs> sorry, yes, Jay. Um, and as you strike that creature, let's see, does it turn towards you or does it remain focused on Valfino? It's focused on Valf, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, on uh, Rowan. And it yeah, stays focused on Rowan. All right, let's go back to you now, Anaho. Get wrecked, Rowan. Okay. Alfino and I are gonna run away together. I, I, you know what? I hope so. <laughs> Anaho, you run across the platform. You see the, the ring of the ram that you have thrust out is slammed uh, that uh, skeletal creature against the wall. You see Rizia uh, turns and tries to take the advantage there and follow it as well. Uh, but you can also see that uh, Rowan is under duress. What do you do? From the start until the end, Naho will take just a few steps forward, being careful to stay out of the range of the uh, creature. Uh, and I will discharge another three uh, uses. Ooh, -hoo. wow, okay. Yeah, uh, burn it. Burn it, that... burn, baby, burn. All right, what is the roll? As I uh, step forward, uh, Anaho will again thrust his hand forward. Can I just, just say, oh, sorry, go ahead. Just, uh, Rizia, from start to finish, we are in this together. Just remember, it's all a choice. Uh, damage is 16. Anaho, I need you to tell me what it looks like. Yes! What? Kill him. Uh, so not only this time... Because all this damage bypasses the damage reduction, which was based on slashing normal martial hits. So all this has gone straight through, plus Rizia's hit. Yes. Uh, so... Uh, along with the first one and the second one, using the ring, using the ring each time, like from the beginning, each time an alpha uses the ring, he's dipping back into those memories, dipping back into being drowned in the pools and the monster in the well just moments ago. Uh, but but keeping more control over it. So this time, as he releases the uh, force again, he's still moving forward with the force, uh, giving up any kind of personal safety uh, and he moves forward and and even after it's hit and the, the force hits the skeleton shattering the bones within the armor dropping the armor he continues all the way to the wall all the way to the armor with his hand until he can't move any further oh pinning like, pinning him pinning him to the ground with the four. Oh, i love it i love it and he'll look up at rizia and say it's always a choice, and I choose. And Rosia just stands there gripping her uh, great axe. You could see she almost uh, stumbles a little bit as she stands. And that leaves the one. Rowan, you are toe to toe. Yes. Feeling quite vulnerable. Pale flesh exposed, blood streaking down uh, the back of your, uh, your your back and you sort of your glute and on your hamstring where you slash down and the creature <laughs> pulls the sword back again. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to have to rage. That's what's going to have to happen. 
Ooh. Again, the benches of the penitents now, uh, whatever worship was happening here beneath, not in, but beneath the temple of Hextor, uh, these benches are scattered and splattered and, and utterly snapped in twain and splinters everywhere as the combat has unfolded and as uh, Rasmus thrashes on the ground and you may roll to hit. I want to kill this mother trucker so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, let me. Uh, let me. Let me. Uh, wait, I forget. And I'm, I, John, I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask a thousand times. Am I adding anything to the roll? Yeah. Yes, your base attack bonus and your strength. Nice. <laughs> Making sure. I wanted to make sure. And so you I'm should add, like, there should be a flat roll every time. But yeah. I want to make sure. Don't worry, okay. John. You'll have to tell okay. her that. I know. I, I'm getting. I I falsely impugned you, Josh, yeah. uh, thinking you had you had failed. Mm -hmm. it, it's clearly not you that failed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, there's a common no. denominator. I tried. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, no, honestly, it is exactly yeah. like Jennifer, my wife, that plays. I've been teaching her for years, and she does not remember any of the dice rolls. Yeah. They, that's fine. Sometimes it's the like best the game. It's fun. Yeah. Sometimes the best role players don't. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So, what's your role? And I a plus one. Oh my god, so it's a 24, not a 23. Then it's a hit. Thank you very much, Manda. So it's a hit. Roll your damage. Okay. Manda's so cool. I wish I was cool Manda's like Manda. Favorite. God, don't we all? <clears throat> it's not fair. Where my sword at? Do you know Manda had a birthday the other day? It was great. 16. Yes, we do. 16, 17, 18. <laughs> points of slashing damage. As, How, uh, How much? 18. All right. And again, as I described, there is damage reduction. So uh, she... go ahead. Sorry. So as she um, as she goes in for another hit, she's going full rage as she raises both of her arms up with both of these blades. I'll just, you know, she'll just use them as like one weapon. Won't we'll have to get all technical with it. Um, and she, on the knee of this skeletal... Uh, metal figure she lifts herself up and she slams down on the arm with the sword in an attempt to sever it and as she does she slams into the creature and it's a strong blow unfortunately it is not a felling blow nor do you sever the arm of the creature uh, as i mentioned earlier there is damage reduction here for slashing weapons but it does it it slices through the armor you see another chink of the bone uh, the arm, the weapon arm falls back, and the creature scowls, and now we go to its attack, right? Everyone's gone this round? Yeah. <laughs> I believe so, <laughs> including you who played at Croc. Yeah. All right, so yeah. uh, the creature lunges back toward Rowan, um, and I'm going to give it a minus two to hit, because you did strike its sword arm. Ah. Oh. And that would have been an 18, so that would be a 16. Does a 16 hit? Oh, yes, it does. You don't have any armor on. <laughs> um, I would argue that she's more agile. And she is more agile, but the full dex bonus is still the her. full dex bonus. Um, the blade in, in vengeance <laughs> slashes back towards you, and you take... Oh, that's not too bad. Um, you take nine points of damage. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> just, just nine. nine but another, yeah, real good. another point of strength is lost. So uh, be tracking that strength right. reduction. Yes, I'm tracking it. And now, oh, as this uh, one crumbles to a pile of bones, we go to initiative once more. And you won last time, so you're rolling again. Come on, hop! Don't Shit. mess up. DM has a four on the die this time. Kiss. I have a four. <laughs> Oh, that disappeared. Four. <laughs> all right, roll again. Uh, re -roll. By the way, I want to say I, I respect all forms of initiative. And we put this in the chat recently. Um, and I think actually D10 makes a lot of sense, like Castles and Crusades. But the reason I like D6 is because it does result in more ties. And I think the ties are fun. It, to me, it's just a fun. fun. I've actually adopted that in my, my DMing as well. Yeah, it's just a fun mechanic. You know, and it's, yeah. I know it's not the most realistic in the world, but I think yeah. the importance of the initiative coupled with the potential for tie, it's just a fun mechanic. All right, so I'm rolling again. I just realized I, oh, I snap. Five. 
I also realized that I haven't been using this attack bonus that I have on my sword, but like it's been fine. But oh now I know. Gosh. Oh, you, you can't see it. I have a. I have a six. six. I have a oh. six. All right. Um, Boo. 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 <laughs> for, now everyone hates my D6 mechanism now, right? <laughs> uh, it lunges forward. Oh, that is another hit. That is a 15 plus 10, 25 uh, on the hit. And that is, oh, still not bad on the damage die. Four plus. That's 12 points of damage. <laughs> As it slashes through you again. Yes, on you. I mean, heck. Yeah. Are you still conscious? Thank you. Oh, I'm fine. You're fine? I, I wouldn't say fine. More, then it, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not fine. I'm hit her, trying hit her to a be little cool. harder. I will hit her a little harder next time. Um, let's go to you, Rowan. You are face to face with this creature. Uh, it slashes through again, your pale flesh separating easily before its blade, spreading crimson blood all over the floor. Ooh, 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 I hate that. Um, she's going, it's like full blind rage. It's repetitive hitting and very loud from the gut screaming and shouting as um, she goes in again and she's going to try to hit that arm as hard as she can again. She wants to get that whole arm off of this guy. Roll to hit. He's pretty badly damaged. You can see that. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, so I got an at 20, but I want to see all the ads I get. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, the, the ads don't matter. Thank you, Renreb, 200. That's one, a plus one for each um, uh, of the PCs. Wow. I thought he actually meant five for the DM, but apparently not. No, he didn't. Um, Renreb. Thank you, my friend. You're dead, dog. <laughs> all right, so now roll again. Uh, so you got to confirm the crit. So this is a roll to hit. Come on, come on. Another I don't know, 20. man. Definitely. Oh my god! No way. <laughs> no way. No way. You rolled two nat 20s? You're welcome. You rolled two nat 20s? You're welcome. Ah! You just got five advantages. There you go. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much, Jeff. I need those. Come uh, here. I appreciate that, Moose. Uh, Hob, so do you know what that means here on Blue Box? Uh, I'm going I'm to test the new players. When you hit two nat 20s, what does that mean on your critical percentage roll? You hit the well. You win the whole game. Yeah, you win. Potentially. I don't remember, but I know you win. You get all the gold. <laughs> You add plus 20 to your percentile roll. Yeah. Now, that means uh, expecting someone like Hob, who does not know what a D6 is, to know what percentile is, is probably unreasonable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so percentile is a 1 to 100 roll. You need the two D10s. Oh, yeah, that right. And uh, right. And then one of them should have like a tens column and the other should just all be straight ones. That's it. Hey. Now, now please roll that. And you're going to add 20 points to that for your double nat 20. Come on. Come on. All um, right. Now listen uh, here. I'm guessing. Little... Okay. What's everyone guessing? I'm guessing 93. <laughs> I'm guessing. No. Oh, baby. Come on. Stop it. 83. I'm guessing. You're guessing high. I'm all on. You get a plus 20. Of course you get so it. right here, Rowan. Fighting this skeletal 30. guardian. 35 plus 20, then 55? No, no, no. Oh, that was a guess. No, Six, that was my no. guess. No. Everyone was guessing. I got a 67. A 67. 67. Uh, so that becomes an 87, which is slightly. No, it is actually the exact it's a same. Bit less than getting your at, arm it off. is the same. It is the same crit. The 87 and the 88 oh. are the same. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? It is. This is insane. From unconsciousness being like, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So, you having no idea what happened before. I'm gonna let you tell me what it looks like, but yes, it is the same thing. The sword arm of the creature that took the sword arm from Rasmus. You describe it. That is insane. I'm killing it, right? I just wanna make sure. Yes. Yes. Okay, amazing. Um, as they're like going back and forth and just like blood splattering everywhere, almost like the other room we were just in. Um, 
Rowan can be heard shouting and screaming um, against this clanging of metal and steel as she starts to go. She was already in a blind rage, but this is different. This is pure rage. This is everything that has been in the back of her mind. The fact that people were thinking of leaving her, that there's a possibility of her being completely alone. All these different things and feelings bubble up as she hits and hits and hits. And she keeps hitting this arm until it starts pushing this metal skeletal being back up against the wall. And she's <sighs> as she keeps going and going until it just cleaves apart. And she sticks one time Rasmus' sword into the face of this being, embedding it into the stone wall and into its face. And she takes a step back and she falls to her knees as she is tired. Bravo, bravo. Okay, A, that was so well played. B, I'm so ticked that your camera was freezing that whole time because I could just feel the impact. But the double nat 20s, coupled with the fact that you rolled the same exact crit that Rasmus was hit with, coupled with the fact you did it with his sword, you get a minor fate chip, Hob. Yes! Mark that on your character sheet. Aww. You never know how important that can be. Oh, yeah. And then I'm all <laughs> goes silent. Yeah. usually what they're used for. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to figure out what that does. And then everything goes quiet in the room. The creature falls to the ground, uh, crackling in cobblestone. And then um, you see as both of them fall, uh, this wall here behind where the two thrones were that stood, um, it actually creaks. And you see it opens and reveals a passageway behind. Uh, see? You lost a day without me. Oh. And she falls back. Party, you stand in the room. Rasmus, your senses returning to you now. And as you stumble up, as you said, the baby giraffe was a great analog. Um, but you do feel incredible strength in that arm. Um, and you look down, and you instantly know what has happened. Uh, your erstwhile companion, Rasputin, has imbued you with something and taken something from you at the same time. Um, Rasmus is just kind of like stumbling, walk up to where the creature fell. Does that sword look nicer than my old one? Uh, what are you referring to? My, like my old sword, does its sword the, the one, one so so to cut so, my arm to be cl- no the one that it cut you with no, um but you you did notice the the blade uh, with the other one was glowing blue. Okay, he's gonna walk up, look down at the sword, and just like kick the body, and then just kind of collapse next to Rowan. And just like punch her in the chest. You and I need to have Ow. a conversation. She, I don't even think she says and She just looks up at you and just lets out a big, rough sigh <laughs> as blood kind of like falls out of her mouth. Uh huh. Here I thought you were going to growl. <laughs> uh, it's word in Elven. Oh. Good job on that. You can keep that sword if you like it. It was once an executioner's blade. Huh. I think I like it there. Besides. Ready? This one's gotten me far. As she sheaths uh, her sword back. Give me that back. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah. How are you doing? 
As you look over, you see Rizia. She's standing over this other fractured skeletal body. And strangely, uh, Anaho is still holding out his diminutive fist, and the bones are rattling against the wall. You notice that Rizia is using her great axe to um, be able to stand up. Um, she kind of dismisses you. I'm fine. Are you okay? Uh-huh. I... He, he trails off and just his eyes look through the floor. I don't know, but we just need to finish this up here as he's going to reach into his pack. And you see like his right arm reaches in and it just pushes and pushes and he's like, because he's going to try and pull his pack around with his left arm and start kind of reach around to try and find something. Um, and he pulls out that potion that we found on the frost creature mm -hmm. at the beginning. At the beginning of this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that I thought I had an idea that it was some form of healing. You, you, you maybe. I, I remember that being <laughs> so in the case, but I wasn't. <laughs> Are you trying like, to kill me, Josh? Yeah, he <laughs> gives her the, the greater um, <clears throat> super massive poison that he found. Uh, <laughs> that he was given from the spider as he turns and kills the party. Um, but now he's going to just kind of walk over and he's, and you see he starts to almost like lose and he'll catch his balance and just be like, I will take it slow. As he will walk with the executioner sword since it's a flat into it. He'll just walk over and palm the potion into her chest. And he'll begin to like let it go if she does not catch it. Oh dang! Okay, so we're both like kind of like teetering on our feet as well. So she'll, <laughs> she'll clutch it. Are you sure? It looks like you need it more than I do. My wounds are not external. I will be fine. Ooh. Wow! Because he's going to turn around. Before he leaves, though, as she clutches it and he's talking again, you notice that she's not meeting his eye. She's looking and inspecting his arm um, just to see if the black shadows and tentacles are more than normal. I just noticed this mini, which I've been using uh, from the As beginning, no uh, is missing an arm. I completely, this was actually uh, one of my other uh, PCs <laughs> and I've been using this uh, for you Rasmus. Did that on purpose. I did he not. Like, that is sure. crazy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut it wow. off. Wow. Yeah. What a nice session. <laughs> <laughs> it's DM prescient. Uh, no, you see, um, his arm looks quite strong, although it is disturbing to look at. Um, it's not just black, it absorbs light. Nothing reflects off it. It's as, as if you're looking into the inky darkness of the night sky without a star or moon to light it. And I will say on top of that, it like, it has a life to it. As you look, it's like you swear it's shifting, and yet, like you said, it's like staring into the night sky where you think your eyes are playing tricks on you, like it's moving. But you you can't really tell. And where his armor once was on that shoulder is just completely gone, so it's like a tank top-ish, just sleeveless armor. Like a clean cut straight through his <clears throat> breastplate. So her eyes shift from your new arm to to meet your eyes. You tell me if anything's going wrong. You are the leader. <laughs> As he'll turn to look over to Val. Val. Has uh, wait, uh, okay, has Anaho stopped like his hand shaking toward? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm, just, I'm no, still I'm seeing him. Like, <laughs> I'd be I'd be facing Rizia by this point. Okay. Dead. Um. He he had asked out to Val. What? Yeah. I'm sorry to catch what he asked. Uh, you dead. No, uh, Val will be standing there kind of tearing um, a piece of shirt and tying it around his waist, trying to, he got slashed in the side, so trying to keep any bleeding from continuing, and once he gets that tied, oh, that's he'll right. look up to Rasmus and say, 
No, I'm still here. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Hmm. And kind of walk around and see if he can find any of his arrows that he shot because he only has mm. so many. He wants yeah, to and he, sh he shot how many again? I think three, is that right? He no, shot two. One. One, okay, um, all right, hang on. So he's gonna go see if he can find that arrow and then. You do find it, unfortunately, it's broken. Okay, and then he'll move on to the swords. And just, are these swords something that he would be able to take with him? Like, yeah, I mean, so you walk up, up the one sword um, lays on the creature closest to you, um, but the one that catches your eye is the one in the corner where Anaho stands. And Anaho will let you respond. You see, um, Valfino walks up and kind of eyes the blade. The, gli the blade still glows with a pale azure light. So Val will walk up and kind of be eyeballing the sword and look over to Anaho and kind of smirk and ask, did you want this? <laughs> That's rude. Knowing That's fair so... <laughs> well that the sword is about twice the length of Anaho's height. You can use height. it. You can use it. <laughs> Val, you see that dead skeleton there? There he is. Val's not catching on. He just kind of looks. I don't need a sword. <laughs> I think he's flexing. He's telling you the sword was unnecessary to do the damn. I think that's what he's saying. Yes. <laughs> so Val will kind of uh, run over at Anaho, lean down, think better. Um, pull off part of the uh, shirt that he tied around his waist, like tear it a little bit and grab the sword with that and pick it up, not wanting to touch it because he's not sure what is making it glow blue. So as you pick it up, um, you notice it feels extraordinarily light and well balanced in your hand. And there is a slight chill to the blade. He's gonna hold it up and look at it. It almost it looks too it almost looks too big for Val to handle, but you actually feel it's it's quite easy to handle. With just a little flick of the wrist, not big arm motions, but just a little flick of the wrist, he'll kinda of grin and be like, I like it. And kinda of put it like in his side. Like if he can attach it to his pack or something. Sure. He doesn't have a sheath for it, so he's gonna try and like fasten it to his pack. And you do notice there is a sheath on the creature's body, if you want to use that, or you, I mean, not, I'm not oh, telling you have sure. to, but yeah, yeah you I'll would... go snatch that up and be like, all right, I all got right. my it's a, toy. It's a deep black leather sheath. Um, and it does have, on the sheath itself, it has that hand clutching uh, arrows on it, uh, but looks otherwise unadorned. So Val will take that and make his way back over to Rasmus and... I know you're not the best of space right now, but is this safe for me to take? I was going to ask. Give me a second. Anaho. What is it? Check in. How are you doing? Uh, no. Overall, probably the best of us all. In many different ways, I might add. But I am doing well. I am about to check on Rizia, but I am doing well. All right, Rizia, up in that. No time to wait. What exactly is this stuff again? You know it, what this is? Supposedly, it is some form of healing. Supposedly? You don't sound too confident. I am as confident as I can be with anything we have found. <laughs> I haven't had an hour to chill and look at something to figure it out. If you would like to wait an hour or two, I can figure out what both of these items do. But All right, so otherwise. please, uh, Manda, since you're monitoring all this, please make sure you mark my minus 100 XP to Josh for use of the word chill. That is the <laughs> ultimate a horrible anachronism in that context that must be punished. All right, continue. I did it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Rizia will just shrug and she trusts uh, Rasmus so 
And you quaff said potion? Yep. As you quaff the potion, Turns into uh, a rabbit. there is <laughs> an enormous burning that goes down your gullet. It feels like your innards are being excoriated. And you... And with that, we will go to break. Uh, Blue Box will take our one and only break right now. We'll leave the mics hot uh, on the break, and we'll come uh, right back here in a couple of minutes. We'll announce our giveaway. We have a really fun giveaway tonight. Um, and then also we have some fan art we're going to show. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Pat Draws, for the glorious fan art. And then, uh, well, here, let me just, I'll, I'll pop back real quick just so I can show it. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that sounded really bad, didn't it? I didn't mean it like that. Um, so, so it is this. It is World of Greyhawk, Morden Kanan's fantastic adventure. This is a lightning source reprint, but it is so, so cool. And then depending how we go on the back half, we may even give away uh, some Tailspire licenses uh, because you might see some Tailspire on the back half of the stream. Um, so Blue Box will be right back. Yes. Dear John. Uh-oh, that sounds like... Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, John. I'm spoken for. Um, I'm not. So, hey, how are you doing? No, as a DM, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Thank you, all the mad chatters. You guys are awesome tonight. Uh, we definitely popped up some here in the back half of the first half of the stream. Uh, remind me, Vivi, tonight, just so I'm prepped. Short night, long night. I, short, I thought so. Um, that's okay, though. Work. <laughs> uh, no worries. Uh, on another one of her 747-hour shifts. Uh, yes, Valfino, you were going to say something? Um, are we... We're just live for... Audio. Are we on break yeah. yet? No, we're on break, but we're live on audio still. Okay. Maybe you want to message this to me then. Um, will you let me know what kind of sword, what kind of weapon I'm adding to my... Um, kit, so that way when I use it going forward, I know... I what will as soon as you have it identified. Bud. You don't why? know yet. <laughs> why? You don't know. You have to you have to identify it before you will know. So I'll know if you swing that blade, uh, but you won't know until you have someone. Uh, you might have someone in your party that can help with that. I don't know. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> You're going to make me do research. No, you got to find someone in the party to help you. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice try. Exactly. <laughs> that was, she tried, didn't she? It was well played. It is not a plus five holy adventure, Jeff. It is absolutely not. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? Is that good? Then move. <laughs> no. Well, I'm A, you'd it. have to be a paladin. <laughs> B, uh, over my dead body. It is not a plus five holy adventure. <laughs> I want to see that. Art, 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 art. Thank you. Love you, Amanda. Thank I you, Mad Chatters. You. Amanda is the absolute There has been, best. I don't think I've given away anything in this game that was better than plus one. I think there might have been, I don't think book one even had a plus two. I don't think we did. We have been a very low to mid magic game. Oh, dang. Oh, Sieglin, she looks so cool. I love her. Look oh, at are you her finally uh, seeing Rizia now? Yeah. Welcome to Ooh, Wednesday dang. of last week. <laughs> I know I missed it, though. You know me. I'm not really on Discord as much I'm, as I should well, be. Well, okay. Then just, yeah, okay. Hate on me then. That's so cruel. No, I'm not saying hate on you. I'm just saying. <laughs> but listen. Hey, listen. I read the session notes, and I did the... You did. The, yeah, that was a great... Uh, what you mean, yeah. who's it calls it? <laughs> okay, so John is now gone. It is just me solo. Nobody else is here. I am taking over Blue Box RPG. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for all that is going to be happening while well, nobody is here? And I am. <laughs> yes, don't mess. If you need to get a hold of me, that's why Amanda messages me on WhatsApp instead of, <laughs> instead of on Discord. Um, but yes, or Instagram. Um, you can. Finally, oh, da na 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 I could change the name 
Should I change the name? I'm just joking. I think John needs a dinosaur name. Um, I also... Oh, mo, mo. People are coming in and out. Um, yes. I actually do, Amanda, have the purple dinosaur right beside me. Melon. I guess it's Rizia's bum next to Naho. <laughs> and the other one as well. Yes, that is... Oh, that is her. Oh, look at her butt. <laughs> and she has a melon on the stool. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh, that's so dang cool. That's super cool how you do these renders. I have no idea how you do that. <gasps> do you in Stardew? Oh, I haven't played Stardew in so long. I should play it again. Um, I just don't have too much time, you know? Like, I'm trying to sleep. Oh, quickly, while whoever is here, what are you guys having for dinner? I'm just curious, you know, the nom noms. I love the nom noms. I was lazy today. Henceforth, I made a sandwich. That's all I'm making today. Today's a lazy day because I also went to work and I was too tired to make anything other than a sandwich, so... Ooh, ooh, pizza. What kind of pizza did you have, Pat66? <laughs> now, those will be different now. This is a Canadian. Yes, it is a Canadian stream now. Oh, no, Josh is back. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's no longer a Canadian stream. Ooh, leftover sesame chicken with brown rice. That sounds delicious. Chicken pot pie over rice. Ooh, I've never thought about chicken pot pie over rice. Ooh, taquitos. How spicy are your taquitos, Pat Draws? <laughs> Barbecue chicken and home fries sounds delicious as well. I uh, am taking over Blue Box. I had already done... Ooh, beetroot tartare. That and sounds Liars incredible. Jeans. I that just... sounds amazing. Did you yeah. make that at home by yourself? Dang. If you did, impressive as all hell. Yeah, I mean, so... also, if you ordered it out, good choice. The reason I'm not as hungry as I usually am coming into this is because at the board meeting, we were at like fancy restaurant to eat. Yes. And like oh. we had that full prosciutto cheese board laid <laughs> out. We had mm. all the fresh fruit from like farmer's market crap. And then for the lunch we were offered, uh, I had the sockeye salmon with poppy seed topping on Ooh. top of a pea risotto um, with a shredded fresh mushrooms underneath it. And then for Ooh. dessert, we had the shortbread, raspberry shortbread with a <sighs> mousse brownie mm. and whatever the third thing was that was, oh yeah, like a mini key lime pie. That sounds so good. Okay, I have a couple questions about everybody's food. First yeah, of please. all, what, um, Archer, Archer the bear, what is with the chia seeds in the chicken Alfredo? Let me know. I'm curious about that. Also, uh, pregnancy perks at work. Yes, please take advantage of that all the time. I 100% would. Order whatever you like. You deserve it. You're growing a human yeah, being. That's a lot You're of You're growing a work. baby. <laughs> no, you are growing a whole ass human being <laughs> like you if you deserve to eat whatever you want to eat that, like, that is, is so hard true work let Seriously. me tell you yes anyone who is uh making a human being deserves to eat whatever they want whatever yeah you want. i was telling my wife that the other day and she Shut up. Up. <laughs> how far along is your wife in her pregnancy by the way uh how far along is my wife in my dating life <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. No, That's okay. funny. Well, I need to Hobbs talk to you yes, more. Yes. You guys, I've, I've had taken over Blue Box, okay, for one second while you guys all disappeared. All right. Okay. We'll be quiet. You go, You continue. Okay. Hang on one second. You were talking about adding chia seeds for crunch to the pasta. So do you, like, how do you just throw them in there just as is? Do you mm -hmm. cook them? Like, how does that work? That's super interesting. I've Sorry, never. You just said that. pasta. I know she did. That's I'm, what they said. That's like that, said. that's like that's like Rory with Dagger, Dagger and pasta. I don't know how. A <laughs> Wait, how do you say pasta? It's pasta. 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 pasta? Course, that's pasta. It's pasta. It's not pasta. <laughs> it's like. But it's, it's like not dagger down. either. It's pasta. dagger. Pasta. You're, going to you're like, I need to go I could to the say pasta. the same. <laughs> I need to pasta. commit my sins. Y'all watch the pasta. 
like my grandma. I was Yo, like, my, pasta, pasta, my, pasta, my pasta, pasta told me. <laughs> All right, Josh. Stop it, Josh. That's too funny. Stop, stop, stop. You're making me. Not, I got to get serious here. Don't serious. <sighs> I'm serious. It's fine. Trying to get the fan art up. Sexy. Sexy. Great fan art. You know, can someone make me a mod so I can start me? Spring on is good. Absolutely not. It's not as good as like the homemade stuff, but it's Costco brand, so I'm just gonna go with it because it's the best I found around here. You're the best. <laughs> around. Simply the best. Boom, 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 boom. Better You're than the all top. the rest. Nobody. Oh come no. on, you no. guys. No, it, a well, thing. I, I wasn't sure what you were singing. It was so off key, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I don't think that nobody but my own self. I, I never said I sang well, but that's I That's fair enough. <laughs> okay. That's what karaoke was. Here we go. Yes. That's why do you think I didn't sing? I just Blue Box that. episode 3188 coming back. And in three, two, one, we, I, I'm going to have to fix these cams because... Hob made a failed attempt hob. to fix her camera. Oh, see, you're right. Oh, it's a little better. Actually, it's Rob a little better. Sing a lot in the car. Hob, you look sick. <laughs> well, I so that way, like maybe my camera wouldn't be such ass. <laughs> so is it less or more? Ass? Uh, it's about the same. It's the same. Sure. Okay. All right. So, but I got to move this it's around fine. now because you are not a naho. Just hold really yes, I am. still. And you are not that. Still. Don't. Move. There we go. And I'm no. Just so animated, though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was like seeing Hob trying to sit still is like telling that to a toddler Stop. with a set of Hot Wheels. Like there yeah, we go. Hobs are fun. Oh, well, no, still I not. It, right? As I said, I was like, I know, I know, Hob's totally down for some Hot Wheels racing. Hot Wheels, beat that. That and Beyblades, bro. I'm yeah. rowing, and oh. I, I know it's like it, it, it's fighting me. Hang on, I'll get it. Anaho, you look good. <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank you, thank you. There we go. No, not that. I prefer yeah. the usual and not how. Sam, Zaddy, you be looking fresh. Uh, Jeez. Rizzy, Sam, Rizzy. Zaddy. Rizzy. Get out of here, Hob. Someone kick her. There. <laughs> there we go. It's almost. You, kill Rowan you golly, what is going on? I These mean, stupid cams. I think Hob would make a They are fighting me so hard. All right. Hang on here. Honestly, I'll, talk in here. I would love him. I'll be back in one second. I haven't seen him in a while. You should oh, Lee. No, Lee was on last week. Yeah. Decon next year. Dang it. I, well, I wanted to tell them that. Oh so God. they gave me from Blue Box Let's Con while well, John's doing that. Oh, we, they can't see us. Uh, so yeah, from Blue Box Con, yeah. Elhawk bear. gave me yeah. this. Nope. Nope, a bear. That is an owl bear. Still... Owl bear. Owl bear. Owl bear. Owl bear. I'm still learning. You noob. Where's the owl? Rory it's and I both have. I have. I have an owl, but it's a different like. Yeah. And so I just painted this one last night, and then. So I think those are the two that Rory and I have, and they might be positioned in a slightly inappropriate way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are they? No, stop. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening over there? God. All right. So we are back, and let's go ahead and jump into it. We have lost complete no, control of this stream. Jump into that. Let's dive into that. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not. Let's not. Uh, we only have a limited amount of time. I know it's the short night tonight uh, for Vivi, um, but uh, we are giving away this gorgeous. Morden Kanan's fantastic adventure World of Greyhawk module. Uh, it's going to be so fun, and it is full lightning source reprint. It's got the full color, even inside. Like oftentimes, these are just the the blue, uh, but this is actually full color even inside all the maps. A really fun adventure, and uh, this is designed uh, for you know tough characters. So you want to be ready for this, and then we're going to do some. Uh, Tailspire giveaways as well tonight, assuming we have a good back end of the stream. All right. Players. We're going to resume. And we need, of course, to begin with the fan art. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, it's probably Pat. Ha <laughs> ha. Very it. funny. It's just a scratch. And then Anaho. Is that Anaho, I'm assuming? Two arms! Two arms! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is. I don't know. Like, he's got the, the funniest sense of humor. Uh, as well, always done, uh, Pat draws. But now oh, we on, resume. I hate it. I know. We resume okay. the game. Party. Speaking of resume, uh, 
I'm naked. Can I please get some ish. armor before we no. leave? Use you? you are ish. For naked? No. So, so like, uh, the old Incredible Hulk show, like, you have, uh, you know, sort of like your, your loincloth and your... Uh, you still have a degree of modesty, but yes, your I'm armor has popped off. All of that is <laughs> no, you're not Rowan, naked. Rowan Rowan decided to you're, yeah, you're not. You're not fully naked. You're just all, all of your all of your normal armor and your leggings are split. Everything but the bra and panties. I guess. Exactly. Right. That's it. Yep. <laughs> I, Rowan decided hey, to pull a George you... of the Jungle and got rid of her butt flap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and male bikini. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we are back in the I room now. Yeah. I wanted to know just before we uh, skip, we went, scampered off into the next room. Um, um, there's no rush I, to scamper to the next room, by the way. I'm not assuming that. This is your your call. Well, I don't want to, you know, like. I, I mean, instant death is fine if that's what you choose, but yeah. <laughs> I'll skip and hop. But, um, <laughs> can I skip and hop my, my happy ass over to some dead guy so I can put some of that armor on my body? <laughs> Okay, so you want to go and try to um, check the plate mail armor, full plate armor, on uh, both of those fallen figures. Is that correct? It sounds about right. Yeah. How, how tall is your character? Six foot. She probably looks six and inches, but like I'm not gonna count. Uh, I'm not gonna be. No, I need to know like six and inches. Six. How tall is she? She's probably like six two, something like that. She's a tall girl. The six correct two. question nice. is what how tall are these guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to roll and answer that question, so I wanna know. I'm doing a percentage here. It's this is not the first time Rowan's had to uh, rummage through a dead body, especially That's one fair. that is far bigger than her. So she's literally only looking for things that she can either makeshift, like if one of those like little pauldrons, shoulder pauldrons is like for her titty, or you know what I mean? Like she's willing to make do, but she's being practical about it. All right. So, um... <clears throat> Risky, get it together. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You are the luckiest girl tonight. Um, I am. I gave a very, very small percentile chance. And I kind of saw you doing the sort of, as you said, pull off bits and pieces. As you walk up to this first, um, you see this plate mail actually looks remarkably close to being able to fit. Um, it's not a perfect fit, but you could take it, you could wear it, you would not get the full benefit of full plate armor yet, but it would be half plate. And then if you take it to an armorer and have it f uh, further uh, modified, it could be a full plate. We don't get it over complicated. I'll take the half. Okay. I'll take the L. <laughs> Oh, you're not understanding She'll, what I'm saying. You're, so what I'm saying, like, no, I you, know, I know what you're saying. Okay. You're saying. So you take, you take, you start, you start disrobing the yeah. skeletal figure. Um, yeah. Uh, it is this uh, stench of death, but you pull these plates off. You affix the straps of armor uh, to your body. You're still bleeding across your haunch, and um, as you pull this on, you wonder about infection. Uh, but you do manage to, it's, it's a bit loose on your body, um, but as you pull it on, it, it fits close enough. You're now wearing this plate. Yeah. Rowan, as she's kind of like, she's rummaging through, she, she thinks about infection, but she, it's not the first thing on her mind. She's, she's used to being alone and she's used to tending to her own, um, life-threatening wounds completely by herself so it's not even something that she's like hey can someone check me she's just like next task at hand is put on something that can help save my life so she sits there and even over her wounds there's maybe like a gush or wet sound as the plate hits her back and her shoulder as she tightens and winces as she pulls it taut around her chest is there anything else, or is it just the chest plate? No, it's a, that it's full plate. So there are gauntlets, oh, the greaves. Okay. Van, I'm telling you, like the whole thing pretty much fits, but all the leather strap, everything will need to be adjusted. Um, it's not just a breastplate, but you also know there's danger in that for you. How well it's fixed 
if you have this fully strapped and fixed and something were to happen again. So what is your choice here? That gonna hurt. That gonna really hurt. Yeah. It hurt, but like... We'll take the risk. No risk, no reward. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you you strap it on, um, and again, it it it's 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 fantastic armor. You're now wearing half plate, but you know if you can take this in somewhere, and have it uh, further fitted, it becomes the benefit of full plate. Yeah. But then perhaps another consideration to be thought of: how easily is that doffed uh, when certain things happen? Um, considering, like, what she had originally, she would probably knowingly pick parts that she know for a fact that she can wear, um, that if it were lost, it wouldn't be detrimental, um, which is why she has, like, the neck, uh, piece and, like, the shoulder pieces, things that, like, would probably grow with her size, um, which will probably be okay with the half plate, right? She's just gonna take bits and pieces, not the full. Okay, yes, she can. Mm -hmm. All right. John makes a note. <laughs> no, she, she doesn't. No, it's it's good though. It's good role play. I, saw it on face. I know that uh, there there, yeah, there was another alternative, but that was good role play. All right, so rest of the party, what are you doing? I am drinking that potion. Yeah, quaff that. <laughs> As quaff, your quaff. gullet burns with fire, um, you see her eyes go wide. <sighs> She looks at Rasmus with accusing eyes. You thinking can't. you had been her friend. Yeah. Thinking she could trust you. Just at the point, Rizia, that you feel ready to collapse and pass out. The healing power comes over you. You are completely healed. No oh, further damage, dang. including all the strength damage that was done, gone. Oh, hallelujah. <coughs> Lucky. <laughs> Get out of here. As she's Whatever. like, <coughs> uh, wasn't sure if you were gonna kill me there for a minute. I honestly wasn't sure myself. I told you I was not 100% sure in that potion, but I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> uh, he's going to reach out for the blade that uh, Valfino has and just grab it by the sheath. Personally, and he's sitting on the uh, the step up to the next door because I think there's a step, isn't there, or is there not? There was. So it slid out when the when oh, the, that okay. opened up. It kind of yeah. So yes. he's gonna go over to wherever he can find some form of seat. Maybe he'll sit on one of the bodies. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can do that. He just needs to sit the freak down, as he's gonna like lower himself with his blade onto one of the bodies. He's gonna look at it and be like. Wait, can I wear this armor? <laughs> He's gonna like literally for a second. He's like, "What the? Give me a second. Um, <laughs> and John, John's like, hmm. my just for knowledge, I know my character six three. So if that does not fit, it's fine. Uh, no, just your rolls were not as good. So I was giving very small percentile chances. Um, I had a top ten percent uh, chance for Rowan. I rolled a ninety three. For you, my friend, I Woo. rolled a 32. Um, no, Woo. this one was larger, broader in the shoulders. Now, that doesn't mean it's not worth something, but it would take significant modification to be useful. Yeah. Um, he'll sit down on the body. I, I personally would like an hour to just breathe or just a bit of time. And for me to look this over, we'll need some time. So if you all would like to take a rest, do it now. Val will kind of just sit down next to Rasmus, uh, wanting to stay close. And we'll also mention he'll be rummaging in his pouch and hands Rasmus a piece of food, but also pulls out this rock. <laughs> and uh, 
looks at Rasmus and says, you know, I found this the first night we met. Not sure what it does. Would you have a moment to look this over as well? It might be useful to us going forward. It's a very smooth just... white stone. Oh, is it? Is it the same stone that we Is have? it the same stone? Because <laughs> I thought I had picked that up again. I, I found this upstairs in the oh. room. Okay. Um... And it looked valuable and like it had a would I be able to tell that it was magic like I have in my notes magic stone but would I be able to tell because I didn't touch it with my hand it was alone in a box or under the floorboards or something do you have no I know where you found it you you don't have any detect magic right you don't have any no so no hearing that Razus will wink with his right eye and it'll pop up as this time however he's done this before but this time, as he winks and opens the eye, it's its not his whole eye that goes black. It is just the pupil that goes black. But then outside of that, the eye, like the veins push to the front of the skin around the eye. And they're all black. And he looks out, uh, casting detect magic. You feel a distinct, and no, this is not the same as the white stone that you had from Drax. This is much smaller, but also smooth, small, and white. And you feel distinct, uh, nothing necromantic, uh, indiscernible in terms of school, but but seems quite potent. Okay. That is, it is magical. And impressive that you somehow knew that. Uh, as he's just gonna kind of gloss over that fact, metagame knowledge. Uh, and he will just, uh, cause I can't remember DM cause you have different rulings for identify. For identifying each object, would that take an hour yes. each? Yes. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Uh, that's what yeah, it's it's a it's a it, it's a it's a basic you know old school system. So you have to sit, you have to concentrate, you have to pray, meditate, you know whatever it is your methodology is, and it takes yes an hour to do a full identify on an item. Cool, cool. Uh, he will grab the sword and uh, we'll don't do that till later. This is the main focus because if this can be used. As he like loses a train of thought and comes back, if this can be used going forward, it is the best to have now. But I can Val. do that tonight if we're not dead. Val will take it, wrap it back up in the cloth that he had, put it back in his backpack, and uh, pull out another piece of food and hand it to Rasmus. And you need to eat. You need to get your strength up. I will just, uh, I'll do this first. Then he's going to use his elbow to hold down the hilt of the sword and unsheath it to let it lay flat on his thighs. Okay, everyone, I'm going to be a little bit uh, unreachable for the next hour, so do what you will, protect me if you need to, or let me die. Honestly, at this point, I do not care. As he'll look down and... He'll just begin and he'll cast identify, and so for the next hour he's out of it. On on, on which blade? On the blade that? Uh... Uh, yes, on the one Valfino brought over. Right. Blue, blue, okay. Blue one. All right. I'm never touching it yet. He sits down, lays the blade across his legs, says these ominous words, and then goes silent. His head dropping down, this strange ebony arm, sort of cradling around but not touching the blade. What's everyone else doing? I'm going to uh, take a bit of a look through the the creature that's by Rizzi and myself. Rizzi, hold on one second while I get to my look. Make sure you lean against the wall, sit down with something you cover. I feel actually really good, amazingly. I felt the opposite, and then I felt really good. 
but I'm okay now. Interesting what that's like when you actually drink the potion you need. But then anyways, we'll come back to that. <laughs> as she like looks, as she like makes eye contact with you, you could tell like you figured out she's obviously previously in um, when we were fighting the chains, uh, Rizia had given him the same potion um, and but didn't give it to herself. <laughs> So she's, she definitely is... How can I help you? Well, you can maybe help me move open this up. I mean, I'm searching the uh, creature for any kind of items. Sure. Yes. Yeah, All right. No -ho. <clears throat> so the armor is already sort of half stripped off as uh, Rasmus was evaluating it for size and fit. Um, the you blade the chest underneath. <laughs> no. the, like... the blade was the. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, we do find a chest. Oh no, oh, you don't. Within the chest of the creature, a chest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, but no, that's. And now he'll mm. find some melons. He's got. Oh quite my the gosh. Chest on him. Let me wait. tell you. <laughs> no melons. No melons <laughs> shall be found. Hang on. Rude, John. Uh, so rude. That's I'm sorry. A, that's actually how John is going to give us health potions going forward. <laughs> melons. melons. Honestly, oh, healing. Come on. Um, healing. You see, I could use some healing melons. Oh. Um, as you note that the <laughs> gauntlets were left on, uh, as Rasmus was rifling through this, the gauntlets were left on, and um, you pull a gauntlet off, and you see a gold ring around. Ooh. Uh, the ring finger on the right hand. Other than gold, Heck. does it look like any kind of imagery? Mm -mm. Plain gold oh. ring. Okay. No, no, no. Do I you... see this or is... Oh, no? yeah, he's right there. Yeah, no, yeah, he's not hiding. <laughs> of course he's Comquats of health. <laughs> Love that. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> You find there enough. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna help I'm gonna help the players here. I don't do this a lot, but I'm still thinking of of you, Hob. Um, as you wrap this stone <laughs> up, um, you kind of twist the cloth in your hands, and you feel the little white stone lifts a bit, almost Ooh. like like pressing against the top of the cloth. Bow will look into his hand and. Well, that was new. And. I know, I, re I never ever help, but I've got to help a little bit. I, I got new players here. I'm trying to help them. Just, like, look at his hand. Well, that, that was new. Um, it just lifted in my hand. What does this mean? Are you saying that to Rasmus? <laughs> he, Val's just kind of like, uh, it did a magic thing. Just talking to people <laughs> in general, like not sure what's going it on. It did a magic, a magic thing. Dude. So he's just like, this is not normal. Does anyone know what's happening? Rizzi is the last person to know about magic. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the wrong thing. Literally, Rizzi has just Can concentrated on this that this shiny point? thing. Yeah, on that shiny thing that uh, Gim or sorry, Gimble. Oh, um, right. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and that was the first it, time I've done everyone... that. I don't know why I did that. I'm just thinking about it. How dare you? Okay. Hint, hint, hint. How dare you? John. Hint, 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 hint. Uh, it's, it, you guys already know that's happening. You know that, right? I promised you that from the beginning. That will happen. I know you did. Yeah. I know you yes. did. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. <laughs> just, just. I don't um, really know. Perhaps I can come over there in a, a moment, but uh, maybe it is like a compass. I don't know. Usually I, and I'm pulling the other ring off, usually I uh, just kind of test things as they go. You know, Rasmus takes too long sometimes. So, uh, so as you that. can tell, he just gave me a potion that he had no idea what it was. And the gold ring is off the hand. Okay, you slip the gold ring off the finger. Pull it on. Pull it on. It's getting there. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> At the uh, point, at the point where uh, Anaho says, "You know, I just kind of test it out." Uh, Val will kind of 
take it out of the, like, pull the cloth off from around it and just kind of, like, find a blank space and just go, mm, seeing if you can, like, get it to do anything. Just, like... He's <laughs> gonna like thrust it up in the air. Yeah, just like... comes back. Everyone's trying to go to Quidditch school. And, like, all these times, like, oh my god. Okay, the giveaway is open for Morden. Thank you very much, Manda. The giveaway is open. Exclamation point Morden Kanan. If you can't spell it, you can't win. Uh, Morden Kanan uh, in the chat. And I have spelled it there for you. This is for Morden Kanan's amazing. <laughs> Um, fantastic adventure. Um, you Sam, does it look like the stone that we had? No, it no, no. It it, uh, it, oh, okay. it it it's it's smooth and white, but much smaller. Looks very different. Uh, so okay. just coincidental in the fact the color was the same. Um, okay. Sounds sounds good. Then then Rizzy would just take a look at it and not like as soon as she no recognizes that it's not the same one, then she would just turn her attention. She doesn't. Okay. Know. Um, as you hold it up. Dolphino, you see the stone start spinning in midair. It hovers before your eyes and then <laughs> slides above and starts floating over your head. Yes. <laughs> Val uh, will be like, uh, uh, Ra Rasmus, I did a thing. <laughs> Rasmus, I did a I thing. I didn't know you knew magic. Uh, me neither. It must be my think, elven side. <laughs> I don't think he can hear you. <laughs> when, uh, his eyes are He's out for a bit. This is like... But you, say, you uh, just try it and things work out. I hope you don't die, though. You too, That's... bud. You too. <laughs> and I'll slip you on the too, other bud. ring. I'll slip. I slip on the gold ring. All right, you slip the gold ring on. Oh, it's it slides on your finger. It fits Can pretty you, well. You feel this like big green hand on your shoulder, kind of like oh, I don't know. <laughs> he immediately turns undead. Oh. Valfino, um, your head as you turn it, uh, your fingers, um, you just you feel slightly more nimble. That's so sick. Oh like, my god. Like, you are it's hard to explain <laughs> somehow everything just feels a bit more easy uh, not stronger more nimble So my only knowledge of anything magical is from Harry Potter, so I'm like going through all the Harry Potter stones and magic in my head. <laughs> all right, I will not give you a minus 100 XP for the. <laughs> uh, you don't. Yeah, you don't know what's just happened. This thing is floating over your head. You see everyone looking at you, and suddenly it's just like your movements are just a little bit quicker, a little bit more alacrity in what you do, and you're. It's a strange feeling. We just start buffing out Anaha with all Val, the magic items. Val will just kind of like put the uh, like the cloth back in his hand and reach up above him and kind of just grab it back and put it in the cloth and wipe it up, wrap it up and put it back in his backpack and be like, okay, we'll deal with this later. You snatch it out of the air and it immediately becomes inert in your hand. And as you tuck it back in, it's there, it's gone, it's dead, It's there's no motion. But you can't help but feel a sense of loss. Um, you were something more a moment ago, and now you're not. Do it. Give in to the dark side. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Like, well, that was enough of that. To kind of <laughs> no. just like shuffle away, and like we're gonna save this for another day. Uh, Anaho, you slip that ring on your finger. Um, you don't feel anything. And you still see Rasmus just concentrating. And you still feel that like firm grip that she has on your shoulder, like. Well, you do want to wear it, Rizzy. Uh, no. I don't know if it'll fit, but you can. Uh... No, no, no. 
I already drank a potion. I didn't even know what it was. The only reason why I drank it is because Rasmus kind of had some I sort of confidence in it. We you don't know even what? know what that is. Do you feel yeah. anything? Look, took a little bit for this other one. Maybe I'll take a little bit for this one. Maybe if you splash some water on my face, you'll activate this one. Please maybe don't. you should Please take don't. it. Maybe you should take it off and just leave it for Erasmus to look at later, just to be on the safe side. Maybe. But everything is about choices, right? Yes, Anaho. What is your? What do you mean? Your choice is to keep it on. Or this to keep it on. Maybe that means won't come off. But for a long. Oh, you froze. Oh. They're oh. both frozen. Oh my god. That's gosh. what the ring did. The ring froze them. The ring killed them. <laughs> I know it was Sorry. so good. I told you. <laughs> you gotta throw the whole ring Sorry. away. Sorry. Bad camera. <laughs> Fixed. As she like slaps, she's like slapping a now on the face. <laughs> she's like, oh, the world is crumbling around us. <laughs> Raz just comes back, his jaw <laughs> snapping open as the mouth tears into that of like a Demogorgon Bro, face. Adam. All of you, Rowan is the most Okay, so uh, all of our viewers just presume the DM has not done enough to entertain you tonight, and my players feel the need to just extend this into ridiculous things. <laughs> there we go. They're back. Are. They're hey. back. Yay! Yeah, look at that. There we go, and now I got to switch the, the cams over like, again. Crazy. <laughs> and now getting the poop slap. Okay. 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 Nice. Continue. Our I know you guys went everywhere, but I went nowhere. Okay. Uh. Ring, finger, choice, yes. Uh, you know, I guess for a long time I chose to follow the drow. Follow fear, I don't know, but I did it. Then you all came. And slowly you taught to me, choice. Remember, it's only choice. This place has been hell. To say the least. Debatably worse than any place I've been. Debatable. But it worse than Relostra? I don't think anything's worse than Relostra. Ah, oh, that, put, that place is a keep, keep walk. Don't drink the drinks. You wouldn't have been. Never mind. Anyways. Anyways. Sorry. Too soon. But just because you have an emblem on your hand doesn't mean you have to go down that road. Oh, did they freeze again? They froze again. They're frozen okay, again. Hmm. Uh. Oh, they are. Yeah, they froze again. It's a household issue. No. Yep. She said that their Wi-Fi was butt. Yeah. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what butthole. That, butthole. Yeah. Sorry. That's right. what said. <laughs> so while, while we're waiting for them to pop back, they'll, they'll come back in a moment. There we go. There we go. You're back. Um, exclamation point. Morden Kane in the chat uh, for the giveaway. Morden Kane's fantastic adventure uh, will be given away tonight. And I'll pop that in the chat again. Please resume. That's you, all you, Rory. <laughs> I don't know what you last heard, but what I said is you have an you have a thing on your a gif on your a glyph on your hand, and uh, you don't have to keep going. This place has been horrible. We can leave. We don't have to keep going down this road. And it's not it's not coming from a place like a Naho is trying to ditch you. It's just like we have choices. And. Mm. As you finish your sentence, you see Rizia kneel down to kind of meet eye, to be eye level, more eye level with you instead of standing on top. I do have a choice for the first time. And as much as, and as smelly as Yash is, he did give me a choice. And the reason why I'm here and I'm able to make it here in the time that I have is because of him. It's only right for me to finish this before I can continue on. At least next time you make a foolish move like giving me the potion. Tell me where you're at. You wouldn't have taken it if I told you where I was at. Yeah, fair enough. But perhaps I could have been uh, more of an aid to you, seeing that for some reason you couldn't hit that creature. Fair enough. 
I'm just saying. Enjoy well, some trust. So we're going forward. Agreed. Thank you. Good. I would have died if it wasn't for you. Yeah, I would have died if it wasn't for you several times over. So, no what, was that that, what was that that you said to me before? Uh, no one gets oh, left no. behind. Oh. Go see about the others today. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You're new to the group. <laughs> Don't you sass no us over here. Behind. You're right. No one gets left behind. Oh, my, 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 my. Except uh-huh. for you. Yeah. Don't forget that yeah. we still need to talk about... They dragged your lycanthropic behind into this room, so come on. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I'm not even dead yet. <laughs> we all are. We, we still You're have com- conversations still need to be had about yeah. your oh, condition. I- Oh, definitely. For sure. Not that there's any other questions that need um, answering. Like what? what? Oh, where are we going next? That way. Well, there's through there, way it seems, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as he's done. Yeah. And perhaps another unspoken question would be, uh, as he does his thing, this ebony arm which hovers over the top, devouring all light. It starts oh. to do a little snake dance. Oh, cute. Is there anything in here to, like, torches or anything? Sconces, things like that? Yeah, uh-huh, there are. Yeah, so I'll come back to the room. So there are two sconces, uh, and these are, you've seen these all throughout. Um, they are apparently magical in nature. Uh, they're actually ever-burning, uh, these sconces. So you can, if you wish to, you can pull them off the wall. The wall. Um, they're burning with a light that is not creating heat and clearly not based on oil. So while they were talking, uh, can Val walk up to uh, uh, Rasmus and take his arrow and take the back end of an arrow and kind of just poke his arm? Would that like pull him out of the trance? You don't know. Do you do it? Yeah, so Val will kind of walk up and just kind of like, (sighs) not like maliciously stab at, but just the feather end of the arrow and just like, even before uh, even before the arrow reaches his arm which arm are you touching the right or left whichever one is black and that's right that's right okay. before you even do that his hands kind of hovering and you see he's muttering stuff like he's talking to himself under his breath or he's saying something and his eyes are like open and close and then close and looking around and then he wrinkles his brow, and the hand reaches up and grabs the arrow. All right. As that happens, I need you to make a concentration check uh, to keep your spell going because you're being distracted by this. So you're going to have to roll under your intelligence. And you can use any bonuses from the fans. Yeah, I, uh, I only have one. So all right. Well, you might want to use it. Oh, yeah. I don't have my dice out. I haven't had to roll anything this whole game. Sheesh. <laughs> Um, okay. While I'm getting my dice out, these dice are brought to you by John. Cozy Cozy Gamer. Thank you, Manda, for popping all the sponsors in the chat. That is a five. So that is a six. Well under. All right, so the the arm, seemingly of its own volition, snatches the arrow while you main concentration on the spell. Thank you, Renreb. He grabs and will just kind of let go. And the hand will reach back up slow and just kind of like go in as in it slowly moves back down to the sword. With that, Val will take the arrow, kind of look at it, put it back in his sheath and kind of walk away whistling like, wasn't (laughs) me, don't know what that was. All right. Anyone else? Uh, as he's concentrating, you got about thirty minutes left. Uh, if you just want to wait it out, you can. If you have something you want to do during this time, you may. Nope. Wouldn't suppose anyone's got any sort of, um, I don't know, stitching. As she turns around and she kind of lifts up whatever clo- tattered clothing she does have to reveal that large, gross, massive, deep gash among many. 
Yep. Um, what, what, sorry, DM, what would that be? Like heal or you need to know something? To know something? Well, I mean, you <laughs> see, she's just wing it. No, she's, <laughs> she's deeply cut. Yeah. Error no, word. no, I meant to like stitch it up. I mean, yeah, the heal is the typical skill, but um... <laughs> <laughs> just just start stabbing me with a needle. <laughs> I'm uh, is this helping? Not that. No, Rizzy, you've you, like you you've seen some of this. You, your your skills would be um, uh, perhaps somewhat uh, remediary in this respect, uh, but you've seen uh, fish bones uh, pushed through wounds with cat gut uh, to try to close them. Um, if you wish no. to make some no. sort of crude repair on this, you can. Do it, please. I mean, <laughs> I could definitely help you out, but uh, maybe Here. maybe a shadow arm over there no. is probably better no. suited when you when he wakes up, unless you really want me to try. It's not going to be oh, nice, honest. though. Honestly, you wouldn't be any worse than any of the surgeons as I've had to deal with in my long, <laughs> long life. As she says, she's like turning around and like taking off uh, the clothing that she had just adorned. So that way she's like, I'm not going to like flash everybody, but, no. you know, titties I maybe. Mean, <laughs> I mean, um, if you're in for a cool looking scar and hopefully no infection. Then Rowan sure. looks at you, scars <laughs> all over her face. Oh, you think I need more? <laughs> I mean, if you don't Listen, want if you one, don't want to help, it's fine. I mean, I said I would help, but it's not going to look nice. <laughs> Nothing about me is nice. Maybe. I just need you to hold this. Yeah, she starts kind of like, you know, directing you sort of like where she needs help. It seems like she's done this before, especially like when you get a little closer, you see that almost her entire body, even the, all her entire body is just welts and burns and scars. And there's one particular one where it goes completely around her body as if she had been cleaved in half or near that at one point. Hmm. Uh, wow. She's okay. sitting down. I'll try to help her. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually impressed. No, no, Rizzo, you you are one to love a good scar. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Like, she, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she can see all of it. And she's like, well, I'll try. But like, and obviously she looks like she's been through the ringer before. So whatever I do can't be as bad as like, as any of the other <laughs> stuff I'm seeing. So she will definitely try. <laughs> You've got such gentle hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll d20, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do I want to roll high or low? Because oh, you definitely want to roll high. We're going to add your heal skill to this, which uh, you probably have no ranks in heal, but we'll add your wisdom to it. My wisdom? Uh huh. What's your wisdom bonus? Hang on one second, one second, one second. It's probably not good. I not wise. I thought so. So this is a raw d20. Um, right now, I am not wise. However, listen, um, DM, a wonderful, masterful DM. <laughs> merciful. I do have, merciful, I do have um, six plus one, so I will use five of them. Okay, all right. Okay. Roll those. Come on, baby. You better get a cool AS scar. <laughs> as um, as uh, Rizzy is, like, helping her and, like, got... What did you get? We, oh, is that a nat 20? It's a nat 20? <laughs> you have a nat... All right. All right. Rizia, as you ply, you realize you are using, using rudimentary tools. Um, this wound is deep, uh, but the respect you feel, you have seen members of your tribe in the north that perished from the wounds, uh, not the one she has currently, but the scars that you see almost severing her in half. Uh, there is something about this which inspires you and you feel the call of the ancients as you begin to weave uh, that bone through the wound um, you do an absolutely expert job all bleeding is staunched whatever wicked scar you wish to have there you may have and you receive four points of healing uh, as this is done yeah. and it, it's like, like she works feverishly her hands um like like all of a sudden like this this brusque uh melon devouring axe wielding uh has become much more uh intensely sensitive and binds the wound and uh as she utters her final breath uh 
pulls back pensively as if to evaluate, and you feel incredible healing power. Um, as she like, she almost like as she finishes up, uh, after hyper fixating on trying to stitch up your uh, wound, she takes a moment to tie it off and kind of takes a step back and just inspects every scar that is on your back, and you almost feel like a gentle touch. Um, to one scar in particular, the one that you said like looked like it would cut you right across. She almost like gently just kind of touches it and then snaps back and just kind of gives you like a good old like pal pat on the arm. She's like, all, all finished, all finished. Um, <laughs> at the touch, there is like, you can see it in her skin. Like she just kind of tightens up the muscles in her back kind of like contract. And she, as quickly as your hand is retracted, her shirt is down and um she's like facing you it's all very quick just like yep. the awkwardness of like <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're all done here uh, i think i did a really good job actually i'm i'm impressed myself as she kind of like she like grabs at her back and kind of winces as she stands up and stretches and like she does like a little stretch just to kind of see how far she can go with the stitching in <sighs> Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. about you get about forty I degrees. To thank you. You you feel a pull, but it's it's barely even painful. Like you feel like you could pull further. It's so well stitched, but you know much <laughs> past that would probably rip it open. Yeah, she um she says uh I didn't get the ton the chance to thank you for what? For, she, like just motions to to like the room and. Logan me the uh, the whole way. I assumed it was you, and she kind of motions towards the rest of the group. Didn't expect any of the rest of the lot to carry me. Uh, actually, he's a lot stronger than he looks. <laughs> she points to like meditating <laughs> for us. She he's not as not as strong as I. Not as strong as I, but uh... <laughs> but he's a her lot. Eye, you You're see meditating. her eyes like, lock okay. on. Her eyes like lock on Rasmus, and they like narrow. You can see, like, this, like, heavy breath leave her body. He helps carry me. Did? Hmm. Oh. Huh. It was actually him who pulled the arrow out of your leg. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of that. She'll, um, offer out her, like, whole arm, like, in an attempt for, like, a Spartan, um, like, handshake, and she'll say, um, well, I'm gonna thank you first. And then she'll kind of, like, look back at Rasmus, and then him. And then she will full grab your arm as well, and look at you, and meet eyes. Can I trust you? <sighs> I haven't been asked that in a long time. Yes. For as long as you'll have me, you can trust me. I'll lay down my life. Very well then. And you see her grab your arm in the full, like... You good? She'll shake your arm. Good. Anaho and Valfino, you are fully conscious of this conversation. Of course, Rasmus is not. He's still concentrating on the spell. Yeah, during this time, I'll just use, you know, I found at least a gold ring, if not more, but it's at least some gold. So uh, I'll continue. I'll just go over to the other body. While I'm listening to all of this, um, go over to the other body, uh, search, search that one, and then just kind of go throughout the room and see if there's any clues to what they were talking about, any kind of, whether it be inscriptions or papers, pamphlets, newsletters, something to tell us what in the world they were talking about. Mainly searching the body. Very good. Please roll d20. Uh, Valfino, what are you doing? Val will kind of have the full fledge of his injuries kind of wave over him. He's been up. He's kind of had his adrenaline going right from the fight, mm -hmm. getting the sword, kind of walking around. So it's kind of finally hit him. So he finds um, a wall to lean up against, unties the uh, 
the shirt or cloth that he's cinched around his waist to try and stop the bleeding slides down against the wall and pulls out a flask out of his backpack just of liquor and tries to like pour a little bit to clean the wound and just kind of sits there trying to hold his side and just rest and gauge what how severe his injuries are. And you slump down against the wall, uh, knowing that sometimes the stronger alcohol can uh, provide some purative effects to the wound. You pour them off the sting, uh, bites and burns, and you can't help but just remark on the oddity of your fate in these last few days. Um, coming from a fairly normal life, and now amidst darkness and transformation, death beneath the temple of Hextor. Life choices. You slump down and clean the wounds. Rasmus, at the conclusion of your hour, um, you concentrate, almost interrupted, but managing to maintain. You discern the potency of this blade. I'll give you now, uh, this is OOC, uh, you describe this as you wish. This is a plus two cold iron masterwork longsword. You're and you're muted. muted. That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> You you all hear if there is silence in this time and you guys are just kind of waiting for him to pop back. You begin to hear this intake of breath almost from like around you. Just this <sighs> I don't know. He shakes his head and he kind of blinks as that kind of more darker tone to the skin leaves him. Um, this is very good for whoever in the party needs to be better in martial range as he's going to hold it back out to Valfino because Valfino was the one that gave it to him um, this is a very powerful weapon very well made it also has the ability to uh, have a biting chill to its cuts so be careful what you are cutting it with. She'll hand it back off. Val will take it and kind of just tie the sheath up to his side, or his pack, really, because he's still sitting slumped there. Um, uh, Naho, was anything else found that's of any importance? Well, I did find the ring, but I'm still, uh, one second. And, uh, John, I rolled a 13, and if you're adding perception, I have a 12 there. Okay, on? I rolled a 13, and then if you're using perception, I have a plus 12. No, I'm sorry, but remind me what you're checking on. Oh, the body, the room. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, inside the room, you're searching for some sort of... Uh, as you said, sign of what was done here previously and what you do find is that it's cl clear this has been here for centuries. Um, these penitent desks are as old as those ancient figures that stood before the altar. Um, they have become themselves a mockery of days past. All of this in some sort of deeply religious, uh, cultish worship, even beyond the darkness of Hextor himself, something more beneath this temple.
and anything on the body? Nothing but I've described already, no. This so, is a very, very, very old place. There are some things that I have definitely seen kept out of the sunlight that last a long time. This stuff, these creatures are very old. And Rasmus, to your point, yeah, I found this ring if you want to take a look at it. But we have been sitting here a while now, too. I think it's best if we begin moving. Um, I will take the back. Rezia, please take front. Valfino, uh, you in front of me. Middle. And <laughs> yes, right behind Rezia, if possible. It's good to keep the marshals up front. That's some good leadership uh, there. Ah, uh, well played. For this. <laughs> we might need to take a revote of this uh, team captain. No, <laughs> I did not quite hear. Where did you want? Where did you, Rasmus? Where did you uh, say you wanted me at? Oh uh, no, I'm sorry. I would like you in the front, please. In the front. Because is... you check for traps and you're sneaky. Got to ah. keep the marshals up front. Remember, on Oh. Um, yes, hey, I said. Don't guns. do not let his size <laughs> disarm you. He is very potent. The most potent oh, poison me, I've seen so far. He wouldn't be the only make. halfling. All right. To, uh, All right, so for sake of time, I'll move us forward. Um, um, we're you, doing this we're walking. We're all just like busting each other's bottles. Um, so. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> this, while they walk, he's going to pop up a detect magic just to see if the ring's magical. If it is, then he'll just let him know and we can keep going. You can't just pop a detect magic. Yeah, yeah, he can. There's children oh. here. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely magical. Yes. Okay. You guys have a nice trove coming off of this uh, previous encounter. Um, died. Anaho, you walk through a corridor. Um, you're leading, but everyone follows. Um, a winding set of steps descend further into uh, ahead a doorway, which is already open. And beyond it, you can see a large cathedral like chamber, dark red stone with fluted columns forested green marble streaked with silver through those columns. There are flames all around the ledge, just like you've seen previously. Uh, this ever-burning, uh, no smoke, no heat, but they surround the chamber. There's a huge mosaic. It's difficult to see, though, through the door, and um, you'd have to get closer to look through it, but you can see there's something on the walls, and in the distance you hear a uh, help me, please. Help me. Oh, God, help me. He's having a good time. Is it a Naho then Valfio up front, or what is the... Yeah, whatever order you want. I had, I had him up front, but you guys can okay. choose the order you want after that. Could we all hear that? Um, he's up front. You hear a moaning. Uh, only Anahu hears it clearly enough. Am I the only one that hears has someone having a good time up front? And she kind of like <laughs> peers over Rizia and like maybe like through like the gap between her arms just to see if she can see Anahu. What's going on up there? To see Anahu's hand come up. And just what? wave you forward. I don't think this is, um, Rizia, who we're looking for might be up there. B but my guess is that he is also some sort of bait. Makes sense. I mean, either very close to dead or left for bait. He still sounds alive. He's alive. It forms of being alive. <laughs> Please, someone! If you would like, I can uh, push forward. Just be careful. Will do. Watch my hands. Uh, so, how far is it to. Is there a door? Yeah, the door. Yeah, you can see here the doorway is open. How uh, far is the door from where we stand? Well, you're right next to the door. Oh. Well, I will very, very <laughs> sneakily peek in. Mm -hmm. Very stealthily peek my head in to see what I can see. 
All right, go ahead and make a hide and shadows check. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, what? Stealth. Oh. Be stealth. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I like That's it. cool yeah. sounding. <laughs> yeah. Stealth is a combination of hide and shadows and move silently. Uh, for all of you that don't know, um, what's your roll? 30, 32. Oh, okay. Nicely done. Um, you step in, and now as you're inside the doorway, you have a clearer view. This temple uh, does have not only the the lights, uh, but then there are windows on the sides. Even though you've gone down, perhaps this is on the edge of a hill because you can see wan amber light coming through stained glass windows on the opposite side. It's a massive temple underground. Uh, red carpets and strange symbols uh, cover it. Uh, the mosaic that I referenced earlier covers the ceiling. And as you glance up, furtively unseen, you recognize it as Spine Castle, but not as it looks now. This must be what it looked like before it had been overwhelmed. It's grandeur with a magnificent orange and purple sunset shining through those windows across the ceiling. But what really catches your eye is a polished wooden platform that sits at the opposite end. If you're watching the screen here, I will zoom and you can see here this massive platform sits at the opposite end and there is a figure bruised and bloodied on a torture device, a rack. He's blood encrusted, his ankles and wrists securely wrapped in iron manacles. At the corner of the platform, there rests a second figure atop a long oilcloth blanket and appears to be the remains of a dead warrior. And then briefly, you see something standing beside humanoid and then vanish. Bring my head back in. There you go. <laughs> I have a good suspicion that I could perhaps at least make it halfway to what is like benches of sorts in the place of worship. Uh, and then our relay about the guy on the, the, the guy being tortured. Uh, there was another individual in there I saw for a moment, but he disappeared. I do not know if he saw me. I would imagine not, because most do not, but he suddenly vanished, and it is perhaps not a good thing. Did he look like the one we saw in the paintings? As um, Rasmus is leaning against the wall right now. It's Rasmus, you lean against the wall. Um, the strange hue of these heatless torches casting macabre lighting. Anaho quietly whispering in the hallway and the moans of the dying and the stench of the dead through that hallway. That is where we conclude tonight. Thank you very much. Blue Box, everyone, great job. All of our mad chatters, our fans. Um, the role play tonight was absolutely fantastic. Well yeah. done, as always. Exclamation great point, job. Morden Kanan in the job. chat. Um, this is Tailspire you've seen here again. And <laughs> if you're new to Blue Box, we had so many new followers tonight. I want to say thank you to all of the new followers. Thank you to all the supporters, the mad chatters. Thank you for the raid that we had. Uh, thank you for all of the, the bits and the subs. But before we jump into our stream MVP and our giveaway, and I know uh, Vivi may have to bounce here any second, so when she needs to, that's fine. Uh, but we do have one question for you tonight. I've been so often late with it. Yeah. If you're gosh. watching tonight and you haven't followed, I mean, I can't imagine that would happen. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. That seems impossible to me. But if it did happen, you watch and didn't follow. Or if you're a follower who did not sub, or, and I know you are out there, subs whose subs have expired. Our subs are lower than they were three weeks ago. This should not be so. We have one question for you. What are you doing? Come on, give us a follow, give us a sub, <laughs> give us a resub. 
Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, all right, let's go through Stream MVP. Our giveaway tonight is this gorgeous Morden Kanan Fantastic Adventure book, um, Lightning Source reprint. Uh, we do have some original ones we're going to be giving out soon here, but these Lightning Source ones are, in, in some ways, even better than the originals. I want to compliment... Uh, the players tonight. I know we started out with some combat. Uh, I thought Josh did a fantastic job, even though uh, Rasmus was somewhat incapacitated for the first hour of the game. Um, that was super fun. Uh, Hob, it kills me your camera sucked tonight because your role play was so good. You got to get that figured out. I don't care what has to happen. Everybody needs better Wi-Fi. Rory and Becca, y'all need better Wi-Fi. <laughs> I got people from Canada crushing that Wi-Fi. Thank you, 491 fans. Thank we you. appreciate that. Canada and Wi-Fi Canada. Oh, Canada. No, come on. You guys are like gerbils that spin the wheels up there for your internet, right, Vivi? Exactly, 100%. Yeah, exactly. We had like Run by six different juice. storms today. Thank you for your... If you're a first-time chatter, if you're a first-time watcher, give us a follow, give us a sub. You can use Prime. Amazon Prime, you can have a free sub to any Twitch channel. You could use that here. For, yeah, well, let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, so quickly... We're going to go out who should be stream MVP, and then you will roll for one of these folks. I'm going to start with Vivi in case she needs to leave. Vivi, need to leave right uh, all right, very good. Uh, Tell us why you should be stream MVP. Rizia should be stream MVP if I hit nothing but cobblestone. <laughs> <laughs> A real winner. Literally hit nothing but cobblestone, even when, um, even when, even when that armored guy thing was prone and on the ground she still couldn't hit him so but you know what she can do she can she stitched up stitch someone up she respects she stitched up and then and then and then still game before <laughs> magically i don't know the why. best um but yeah uh, nothing but uh, not net um today so that's oh, and she had some good rp moments with uh rowan and anaho <laughs> oh just those yeah they were fantastic Oh, yeah, RP moments. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, I will roll for you, Vivi, uh, and I will be rolling for Gamer Adjacent on your behalf. Uh, but you can still win stream MVP tonight. 1,000 experience points. I've got Gamer Adjacent. And thank you, Vivi. All right. Let's go to you, Josh. Why should Rasmus be stream MVP? And don't uh, self disparage based on the fact that you were, uh, you had a great role play tonight, tonight as well. So please, like, shout that out. So, I'm a loser, as Hop has <laughs> so said. Uh, Rasmus, though, is a pretty dope guy. Rasmus has had this really weird and rough session or two or three now, um, where he finally leveled up and was hoping to be able to use some cool combat stuff, but nope, just kidding, that doesn't happen. Um, he had a lot of really great roleplay with Val, and Val protecting him, so Val should be stream MVP. But Rasmus, his regrowing of the limb, his mm. uh, identifying of the magic. Do you have any idea what to do with what I sent you? I gave you like that. Like I don't want everyone to forget it, but you can't uh, reveal no, too not, much. I'm not. I'm literally like he's processing. <laughs> it was. It's, I know how I'm going to use it in the future. I'm really excited. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because it, it it's a so so essentially here for uh, all of you who are still with us. You get a bonus blue box moment here tonight. This is Greyhawk Awakening book two, but what happened tonight in book two affects all of the books. Um, there is a master narrative here. There is something that's happening behind the scenes. The glimpse behind the veil was not some just random toss out. There was a glimpse behind the veil of the broader story that happened for Rasmus tonight as he bonded with Rasputin. Uh, something occurred, he had vision. He can't make heads or tails of it, so it's not like explicit, but I'm telling you, it is critically important and relevant, and I hope he appreciates it. Yeah, I do, it's really crazy, really cool. <laughs> oh, 200 each. Oh thank my you, gosh, thank you. you. Tracy, thank you so much, Ren Reb. Ren Reb, you're the greatest. All right, so why else should you be stream MVP? Uh, all right, uh, that's it. You suck. All right, so you're going to be yeah. rolling for. I'm teasing. Robert, you got Phantom MJ. Let's go, Robert. Uh, uh, Hob. I can't Hob. Get down, Robert. I'm sorry. Why yeah. should Rowan be stream MVP? She should have. I'm going to be honest, coming out of a coma after damn near killing everybody, but also helping everybody at the same time, I feel like she's been carrying the team fairly well. 
other than being carried <laughs> for, mm -hmm. for like a whole game. No, and that huge crit. Yeah, I. Yeah, come on, bro. I, I was. Like, We've never had a hype train at the end of our show. If we can get a hype train tonight, I will do an extra giveaway. I'm not trying to push the crowd, but it, it would be super cool. I'll do a, a Tailspire uh, giveaway if it. we can get to a hype train at the end of the stream. That would be awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. What Hob. else do you have to do? What else do you have to do besides do the hype train, guys? Just a few bits. John, that's it. John's <laughs> gonna give away this hellhound. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Pastor. I was also fighting naked, basically. Yeah. Um, you did. You oh, did. And oh, we got the hype train. And I, I, so look, you know, we're a we're a PG thirteen show, but I'll consider this word PG thirteen. You had two references uh, that were pretty funny, actually. <laughs> yes. Everyone liked the shoulder falling. Thing. I was oh, is this my cup size? Or... <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Exactly. Um, Thank you, Matt Chatters. Naked. Uh, she killed a guy, and um, she had some pretty fun role-playing moments with a couple, with a couple of the uh, players, uh, considering the fact that she had been um, incapacitated for a couple games, and I haven't really been here. So yeah. I think that she's been um, catching up with the rest of everybody. I feel like she deserves it. <laughs> No, she absolutely does. And thank you so much, guys. What an incredible end of the show tonight. And so you will be rolling for... dun 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 dun, dun. Brengal, Brengal, follower since September 13th, brand new today. Brengal, are you still with us? You are in the giveaway, but you must be present to win. Brengal going once. That might have been one of our raiders. It would be so sad if he's not. Oh, he's here. All right. Or he or she, you're in. All right. You are in the giveaway opportunity. Uh, let's go to Anaho. Anaho, some good moments tonight. Why should he be stream MVP? So Anaho should be stream MVP because he saved Rizia. Uh, oh, oh. Becca, can you mute? <laughs> you can hear. <laughs> it's we'll get it sorted. Don't sweat it. Uh, uh, my door is open on accident. Anyways, yes. So Anaho should be stream MVP because uh, he saved Rizia. He used his ring push the creature back, then use the ring again and continue to push into the creature, ultimately killing it. And so we're now clear, the ring of the ram has limited charges. Yeah, right? no, okay. no, it recharges, yeah. <laughs> Facts. So, uh, so, you know, uh, pursuing that and then the RP with Rizia and just kind of like, hey, you know, like you could have at least told me you were low on health, like that you were messed up, that you are injured. Uh, and then looking through the room, finding, finding that gold ring that hopefully won't kill him because uh, it's on his hand. <laughs> and then also checking out the room and, and just kind of seeing, okay, this place is old and, and scouting forward for the rest of the group as we continue down the hall. And, uh, you know, getting a sneak peek into that room of what we might be walking into. No, uh, I, and I like that. Um, that was well done. All right, so you will be rolling for... Dun, 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 dun. 491 Phantom, super active in the chat tonight. Um, thank you, 491. I know you're still there. And thank you guys for, uh, again, it's just it's just nice to see the support, the success, uh, you know, have the stream grow toward the end, have the followers, the bits to go to the players. Uh, Manda tracks all of this. So anything that's coming in, coming in here at the end of the game, this will apply to... I mean, you guys can probably tell there's combat coming again here in this next section. I mean, you're yeah. you're getting to a point where it, it, it is, it is yes, the question was asked, can you tell? It is the spy. Uh, the spy that you've been seeking is laying on that altar, being brutally tortured, and that is the room that you're walking into next time. So everything that was given tonight nice. by the Mad Chatters carries over to next time. You said nice and brutally tortured? Yeah. No, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I said, uh, <laughs> Uh, Valfino, why should you be stream MVP? He's a dope. That's a really good question. Besides the fact that he's just a sexy beast, <laughs> <laughs> he is. His glutes, his glutes were coveted tonight. So not only is Valfino a real hunk of man, um, he. Like, went in and risked himself getting hurt to get Rasmus to safety. Like, he pulled Rasmus. Mm -hmm. He kind of was like, 
bro, we need you in this moment. Pull yourself together. You are a lost girl. That kind of incredible moment. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> like, not only that, then he sticks out his head and risks getting cornered and getting mm. the attention put on him by shooting a uh, arrow trying to distract this big old monster boy that um, Rowan was fighting. Then he finds this cool sword. He's oh, yeah. just about like, you know, showing his love for his pals through food and force feeding them to make sure that they get energy because he was taking care of Rasmus again. Yeah. Just like, you're here, manja, eat, please. Um, and, you know, just making sure everyone was good and then thinks of himself last. Kind of he does. wears himself just ragged bad. and just he puts his friends at the forefront and he's in the back of his priorities. So yeah, what could possibly probably go took wrong? a little <laughs> No. <laughs> probably took a little bit of a issue on his health there, but you know. So anyways, that's why Val No, Val was fantastic again tonight. Um I love him. already a fan Isn't favorite. That cool rocky thing that he yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Amazing rock. All right, so Valfino, you will be rolling for. Oh no, no, the nepotism. You're rolling for Rory tonight. That is crazy. Hey, the gay, the the, the dice. Oh, thank you so much, Wondred, for the sub. Please don't leave tonight. Um, vote for stream MVP. It really helps. So the the player who wins gets 1,000 XP. Rizia is still in the mix uh, because uh, we'll count that for her. And I'll start off the rolls. Let's go ahead and roll. I have gamer adjacent. And I saw Gamer Adjacent did sub uh, as well. So I'm going to roll two dice. And for Gamer, I have a 9 and a 14. So I have a 14 on the die. And who did Vivi have? That's who I, I rolled for, Vivi. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. All right. So let's go to you, Hob. Um, he never pays attention. No, well, well, and go right. I'm saying it right. You spelt it no, out for me. Brew, so I feel... brew, brew and go. Brew and get close enough. Something right? like that. I'm gonna win this for you. Thing. What do I have to beat? You got to beat a 14. Easy peasy lemon squeeze me. <laughs> Please vote for the MVP. They get a thousand experience points and they need it. I thought we were up to two thousand. All right. No, nope, uh, you thought wrong. Also going to be a 14. So <laughs> oh, we got a tie. All right. Very nice. Uh, let's go to you, Josh. Phantom NJ. I want to make sure Phantom's here. Uh, Robert's never here. Uh, ignore him. He's. I'm sure he's not here. I'm joking. Okay. Of course he's here. I, yeah. I, I, I added him. <laughs> here, let me let me double check that. Uh, in, in, unless he was abducted by aliens. Um, yep, he's here. Okay. Okay. Uh, first one is going to be... Ooh, a nine. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Come on. Uh -oh. Second one... A 14! Ah, oh, we have three oh, 14s now to tie! <laughs> uh, no, Steve, you could definitely abduct him if you really wanted to. Uh, all right. Let's go, Rory. Come on, Rory, get a 14. So Still time to vote for stream MVP! Ooh, Rowan's got a nice lead, though, today. Good for you, Rowan. Where is it? Ooh, top right hand corner, but it's still time. There's still time. It's 491 or so. Oh, heck yeah. Rowan's yes, three way tie for now. Oh, there you are, Phantom NJ. Sorry. Love you. 491. 491. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Get a 14, 14, 14, 14. Come on, baby. That would be crazy. Oh. 491, I am it. super excited for you and really bummed for myself. So, I got a 19. A 19! Oh, no! Let's go! 491, you take the lead. All right, let's go ahead. Becca, what's Valfino got? No way. No way. I swear. No way. I did not. I did not. Nat 20. You, Nat 20. And, and you were rolling for who? Oh, oh for Rory? Oh no, 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 no. All right, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I cannot allow that to happen. So 491, I will send you something as well. I don't have two of those. I will send you something 
even better than what I send to Rory. Um, I so, am so sorry. I will, I, I, if, I, if I don't have two of these, which I may not, I have some bigger <laughs> ones. So uh, Amanda, if you could please note, uh, I know, she so cheated, of course she did. I saw yeah, Rory give her that look, like yeah, he was gonna cut her internet off next week. Um, so, no, we will send out both uh, to 491 and to Rory, uh, something fun. And the winner of Stream MVP, wow, dominant, Rowan, nicely done. Congrats, you, like 15 of the 28 votes or so that came in, absolutely fantastic. And tonight, uh, we are going to raid our friends at Careful Cantrip. Um, and as we get set to raid them, I want to say thank you again to all of you. We'll be back uh, tomorrow night. A very special LMA. We're talking about um, faith and fantasy, or what's also known as the Satanic Panic. Uh, and how that occurred and what that meant inside uh, the gaming world and, and why I believe that those things uh, absolutely should be well thought of because you can have both a strong sense of faith and a strong sense of fantasy and enjoy this game uh, without them being conflicting. So I've got several people that are joining, but if anyone wants to join me tomorrow night as well and be part of that, uh, we're going to have a good time. It's been something we've had in the works for several months, and I think it should be a great stream uh, tomorrow. Then Sunday, we're back with Tears of Aired. If you watched that first session zero, it was awesome off the hook. It was so much fun. Uh, those new players are so much better than Rory and Josh. Uh, they were really, really engaged. They never even yawned uh, like I saw Josh do tonight uh, on my stream. They were just super, super there. <laughs> all the time uh, so join us with that and, <laughs> um, but no I'm teasing I love these guys you are all awesome tonight and as we get set Tailspire license Tailspire license yeah. Uh, uh, the Tailspire license giveaway goes on, to it's going to be a flat roll on this one actually I got to do oh, uh, you're right Tailspire I have to do this in the chat so we have a separate group and I have to refresh it so it doesn't keep all the same people in, which I've done before. I'm learning all the time. All right, so you type Tailspire like this, exclamation point, in the chat, and you will be eligible for, and you want this. Th these are so cool. In fact, no, not Morden Kanan again. What? Hang on here. Copy, paste, not cooperating. Here we go, control C. V. There it is. In the chat. Um, all right. You know what? Just uh, Josh, you are. There's something. Dude, there's something wrong with you. You know that, right? That makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we'll, we'll do this. Poor fella. We'll give you like, we'll give you 30 seconds and we'll do this giveaway for the Tailspire license. But man, can he play football? Arr. Um, oh, John, I think it would be a super fun, like, um, yeah. lore masters sure. thing to talk about. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, sh Josh, mute. Um, like no, is, uh... Please no, mute, Josh. Not, not furry stuff. Hurry but, up, um, Bob. Yeah. The, no, because you're talking about the satanic panic thing and, like, the whole, like, you know... Right. The, the two different sides and thing. I think it'd be super cool for you to also touch base on the, um, the real life versus reality of D&D. &D. I've experienced a lot of people bringing in real life into D&D &D and vice versa. Ah. And I feel like a lot of people have dealt with that before and don't speak about it. Interesting. You know, oh, you know, oh, I love it. Actually, um, I had a conversation with someone today about that very fact and bringing in some sort of personal life situations into their character as a way to express that and work it out. I think that can be a really, really fun way to play the game. So that's a oh, great yeah. idea. Like What's a good medium? What's a bad medium? What's the medium? exactly? You know what I mean? Yep, yeah, yep. No, okay, the Tailspire license is won by. I'll give you five seconds. And by the way, Hob, we're gonna do that. I love it. Four, three, Aww. two, one. Winner is Natasha. Natasha. That's very good because I think lives a long, long way away. So <laughs> it's much easier for me to send the code. Uh, very, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get set again for our raid tonight. Thank you for voting for Stream MVP. I think it was a very, very worthy Stream MVP Thank tonight. Um, I appreciate it. Even though you had all kinds of wonky stuff happening with your camera, which I am quite confident you will have fully fixed by next week. I, I mean, it. it fixed now. 
Uh, it, it is, but I mean like fully fixed. Like yeah, never right again. Now, I'm so. teasing. Hopefully, I'm teasing. Yeah. Hopefully I'm teasing. we don't have any more storms. I'm really hoping not. Today in this whole week has just been storming, storming, storming. There's actually a storm coming in right now. <laughs> yeah, I had that a few weeks ago, so I, I get it. Yeah. All right. So raiding in three, two, and one. Careful cunt trip. Blue Box signing out. We'll see you tomorrow night for Lore Masters Arcanum. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B